What's in the bag? Yeah. Let's go, hey, yo, what's in the bag, my dick? What's in the bag, my dick? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag, my dick? What's in the bag, my dick? What's in the bag, my dick? Hold talk shit. What's in the bag, my dick? Pull up to the club, big dick bouncing, bitches they know what's up. Take my dick out of my balls, yeah, you love that stuff. Yeah, I'm rolling with the girls, we're rolling with the people, rolling in the clan like this. Oh, what's that? Go teeth, got me boy with a lift. Just like I put my dick on your lips, like you don't really wanna understand. First name Dan, I don't really have to all go. Run up in the club with some contraband. I'm like, damn, got a little bit of weed in my sock, a little crack in my wrist. I don't really care what a motherfucker say. I just ran up and I slapped on your bitch ass. Came back tripping. I don't understand. And I told them hoes, shut their yaps all listening. Everybody knows what it is, cause the diamonds on the watch, they glistening. Diamonds on the ring that say this the NY blue. I don't understand, cause I don't try you. Anybody they try me, gon' get uh, ga, 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 ga. herpes. Yeah, bumping out on the bitch. Came down, tripping out, down on the bitch. I don't really give a fuck, and I'm round on the ridge. If I hit the vagina, with the brown on the bitch. Uh, yeah, that's a butthole. I don't really understand, gotta let that go. I'ma touch on your butthole. Get a little bit of hot, like you stick your tongue in Tabasco sauce. I don't really understand, cause everybody knows Danny Lowe is a boss. Uh, El Jefe. I don't really care what you say, and get the F out of my way. Somebody suck my dick and suck my ball. Same time, I don't really understand. And wave your flag Everybody wants to see my brown paper bag I call my ball sack Everybody cross that What you want that? Ooh, dial tone, ready to call back I'm like, damn girl When you gonna come to the club And give me a rub up in the tub Suck on my fucking butt And get tired of serve my dick Rub my balls down to a nub Cause everybody knows That I'm trying to make love In this club, no Ursha Came back to the club I was like, damn I hope the dick don't hurt her Now I'm back in the sack Everybody wanna talk that shit Everybody knows smoke flows Ain't whack One the police Gonna start shooting everybody That's black Facts. I didn't have to make them rules out. I don't understand. I had to bring the tools out. Uh, I don't really understand. I got gold in my mouth. I'ma break the drool out. Yeah, like this. Grabbing your girl's dumb hips. Everybody knows how it is. Suck on my dick like this. I put a bitch on my Christmas list. I'm like, damn, better sit on the lap to get black. I don't understand. I'm gonna get nap sack. That's my balls. That's my scrotum. That's my nutsack. That's my broham. Uh, yeah, that's my brother. We got the same mother. We came out of the same journey, the same vagina. Knock, knock on the door in the back, y'all. Who's behind you? It's me sitting there in a pair of fresh drunkeries with blood all on them. I don't understand. I got to shatter. Everybody knows I'm going to shatter the ceiling. Came back feeling. I don't really understand. They said he got to get new teeth. I told the one go feelings. They be killing that. They be like, shit, be like, I'm going to Now you feel me? <laughs> what it is. One time, yeah, lick my ass, suck my balls, take the money, take the cash, look that, now I ran and stop in time like I'm running trips at Flash, I don't really care baby, you don't really know, everybody talk shit when I'm in the show, I'm like damn, I'm a thunderbolt, you sane, you better bolt, my teeth coming out cause I'm old lady, everybody knows that I go crazy, I can sling dick to a 16 year old, no, that's too crazy, I just want you to know I, I prefer old ladies. Damn, did you oh. see, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> So we we just we figured Danny was going to uh Danny was going to go off and spit fire because uh I'm gonna be spitting fire literally later in just a bit. We reached four hundred patrons. Uh Patreons or patrons? Patrons. Patrons. Yeah, patrons. So uh You sound like a forty year old man. Yeah, so uh Dude, you're almost forty. So you know the Patreon. Y'all you know, know the Patreons. You know, it's that, it's that thing Y'all know what the, the Patreon is. Patreon. Also, Miranda with the fucking five gifted subs. Thank you, my friend. We are we are streaming uh and we are filming the podcast at the yes. same time, guys. Yes, we are. So Danny's gonna go Danny was gonna go off with the fire, which is what the fuck he did. Uh and we got the chat up. We're gonna be answering questions in a little bit. It's the beginning of the whole fucking thing, so Everyone chill, but uh, I'm glad yeah. that you're fucking here. We got the bear. We're ready to fucking eat this later. I'm going to try to do it without drinking anything or fucking cooling myself off, too. So I think you need you're, you're going to need some milk is what you're going to need. I don't, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to even do it. You're going to go milkless. I'm going to go milkless. Um, I got to take these out. But I wanted to say to all time. the subs, if I don't get to you guys or I don't say everyone's name, 
Uh, just know it's because, you know, we're doing the podcast too, so we want to make sure we get to, you know, the topics and talk. So if I don't notice everyone in the chat right away, guys, we're not ignoring you, but we're gonna there's going to be a point where we do focus Aha. on the questions. Uh, that's going to be majority of the podcast is us just talking to you guys and answering it yeah. uh, and answering whatever you guys yeah. have for us. So um, well, thank you, though. In the meantime, I want to say between time, for anyone coming in, thank you guys for the fucking subs. Appreciate you guys for all the love on the Twitch scene. Uh, and, on the, and on the podcast scene, thank you everyone for 400 patrons. Uh, this is this is where we're at now in life. I'm going to be eating a hot gummy bear sent to us by the one and only Colt Revolver, who's in the chat. God bless you, bro. And, Colt uh, Revolver. Yeah, I'm but, stoked um, to do this. Uh, yeah. uh, Mike presented this idea. I, I had no idea how it was going to work, but it's working, I guess. Um, yeah, it's working out. Yeah, it's, I was. Can, I, you, you, can you guys honestly? I'll ask even before we start. Can you guys hear us? Okay, you're not going to get great volume, uh, like quality, just because we're doing gain and we only have three fucking mics. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to get more in the future. Yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, but fuck love you guys. You. Um, no, but uh, yeah. So welcome back to episode 15. Of episode Fiori 15. Pod- yeah, 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 yeah. Of the Fiori podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got fish and shit for this episode. Yeah, we got a background. It's very low budge, but it's I like that. Low it's, I like that it's low budge. Me too. I prefer low budge over any budge. I do prefer. To be honest, yeah. With you. At least we have some sort of budge. Well, a lot of people have a hard time understanding that you know, if it wasn't for our patrons, I don't know if we'd be like doing what we're doing at this moment in time. If you really think about it, it's kind of... Oh, I'd be jerking off all the time. Like, way more. And in a really sad way. Well, here's here's the crazy thing. For sure. That since, like, the CDC has, like, calmed down with, like, um, you know, you don't have to wear a mask outside. Uh, you don't have to do certain things all the time. People have been seeing me more. So, like, I've been happy to, like, take pictures with some fans and shit. Like, yeah. It's been really, actually, really fun time. Yeah. But, like, I was in Harlem the other day. And somebody was just like, yo, Danny. And I was like, yo, what's good? And they were just like, yo. Like, they ran across the street to say what's up to me. They were like, yo, you're the goat, dog. And I was like, damn, dude, this dude ran across the street. In the city? To say what's good to me. Wait, in the city? In the city. Gee, wait, so. I get mad love in the city. <laughs> I get I'm mad sure you love. Get, you get love everywhere. No, but I was getting my gold teeth put in. Yo, look at this shit. They're fucking popping off right now, too. We just got fucking... 10 gifted subs coming on in I think right that, now, I too. Think that, I, I know Donnie. Don Ricky? Don Ricky, yeah. Don Rickles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's, is that the Don Rickles, though? No, no, no. no. That's, uh, that? that's uh, Don Rickles is dead. Joe's, no offense. Joe's girlfriend, Sam's brother. Oh, hello. Yes. Hello, Mr. Donnie. Ricky, then. Thank you, dude. Shout out Donnie. Yeah, um, shout out Don. Yeah, shout out Don. Uh, but yeah, no. So I, I went to get my teeth. Uh, I, wanted to, I always wanted to get gold teeth. Right. So I was like, you know what? I have a little expendable income right now. Let me go get some gold teeth. So right. I went and got some gold teeth. So now that I had the gold teeth, I was very excited about it. But I didn't realize that it kind of hurts when you wear them. Because your teeth aren't used to being like, you know, like people with braces would know. Yeah. But like it kind of like hurts to keep them in your mouth for a long time. But like I don't think I'm going to keep them for a long time. I have like, I have big ass gaps in my teeth. Like not big ass gaps, but I have... I have like little baby baby gap. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, baby that gap. wordplay. Yeah, that's that's bars. I you should have ba- wrapped. I know, I know. I have baby gaps in my teeth. Shout out to Gap, by the way. Come on the show. Um, I have the baby gaps. Like, what would that be? Is that just filled in gold? Yeah, you get like a gold fill. Like, um, like do people with gaps look stupid with gold teeth? Or? No, some people just get like one gold tooth or like two gold teeth, and they look kind of. Oh, I, I might, just wanted six on the bottom. I might get one. I want. I might get one gold tooth then. Yeah, day. get like one gold tooth. But like you know, I talk like an idiot. Yeah, you can you hear know? it. Yeah. You can hear it. I'm you like, like what's up, have, guys? Yeah, you sound like you have braces. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it's like so it's like you're really cool because you have gold teeth, but then you're losing some points because you sound like you have braces. I would only wear these. No offense to people that have braces. I'm just saying it sounds funny. I would only wear these if I was going to like a club or something and didn't have to talk all. Yeah, the time. and you're like, yeah, what's up? What's up? Uh, fucking, yeah, what's good? Yeah, it's fucking popping. Just filming this new podcast with my brother. Shit's yeah. tight. Yeah, shit is lit. Thank you for the thub. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but we. Uh, we wanted to try something different, I guess, this week. Like, every 15 episodes, maybe, like, we'll do something. But, like, talking like this would drive me nuts if I had to do it for, like, an hour. Yeah, it would so. drive me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. But <laughs> but at the same time, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you got him. When you came in with him, I was just like, God, this kid's moving up in the world. I don't have... I don't, I don't do the fucking... 
I don't have a gold teeth. Well, or, you have a gold chain now. Is I do have white, a gold chain. Is this white gold? Nah, this is still sterling silver. Nothing but wrong. You know what? I silver got, is a great metal. Shout out to my shout out to my friend Jade. Gave it to me, and I and I was like, you know what? I'll rock some sterling silver. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm cheap anyway. There's so nothing wrong with that. Whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, but what it looks wrong? good. It shines with my fucking gold. I feel hot. I got two chains. You know what I mean? What are you drinking? Right now, I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking fucking kombucha alcohol, which I feel like there's so like many of our purpose. so many old people out there just be like you fucking pussy. But like this is it doesn't defeat the perp at all. It, it actually it's more, it's just if you think about it, it's already isn't beer like is beer yeasted or fermented? It's yeast. Yeah, but is it yeast fermentation? I don't think it's fermented Can at all. Can you ferment? There is no fermentation on the th- yeast? I don't think it's fermented. Okay, Fer- so... F- is it fermented or fermented? It's fermented. No. Not fermented. It's ferment. It's fermented? Fermented? Yeah. fermented? yeah, it's fermented. Like demented? Like demented. I don't know about that. Psychosomatic. Fer- I think it's fer- out of insane. I think it's fermented. What was that song? See the pressure. Fat that's us and I'll get you. I think, that, I think that's down, down, down. Prodigy. What's that? I'm, that? Didn't that video take place in like a tube? Smack my bitch up! Aren't wow. they those, those guys? Yeah, I, I think don't think they can get away with that now. It has to be like smack my respectful woman up. Yeah, uh, I accidentally actually said... actually there should be no smacking at all. Period. I forgot. Yeah. I also I'm uh, sorry, ladies, no smacking at all. No sma- uh, well, sometimes we're permission good slaps. Never smack a refined woman up. <laughs> Put my hand on a woman if she wants it. It's gonna end. Wow. Smack a woman up. We should have just as, as much success as me. Yeah, and equally paid. We should be woman. equally paid. Smack a successful woman, up. guys. Don't smack women at all. At no, all. no, no. Don't listen to Prodigy. But uh, no, you can listen to them. But yeah. like, play the play the play the version and don't like play it in in the in a crowd. I guess. What was that other song? It's like, here's another one of those rock hockey beats. I don't know. I, don't, I know what you're doing. That's is that from like now CD? Is that like Fat Boy Slim? <laughs> no, Fat, Fat Boy Slim has that. <laughs> it's like Christopher Walken dancing. Oh, yeah, and he's shit, like sorry. he's <laughs> like <laughs> dancing <laughs> and flying and shit like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did they get Christopher Walken to be in that video? Go, so bow. Bow. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, bow. Oh, you you're doing it on yours? Yeah, people can't hear it. One day we're gonna oh. hook up the Glock XLR to the red. <laughs> ah! Bro, I've played so many. Sorry about that, guys. I will turn that off. That is actually my mom, who has just been mom always texts. Yeah, mom, listen, I love you so much, but shut up. Yo, for sure, leave us alone. Sometimes I literally told her we're busy. We have to fucking film. Please stop messaging us. I think I didn't actually even say that. I said I love you. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. I think she has a hard time understanding. It's that no longer important. Mother's Day, so shut ups are fully back on. Yeah. She doesn't understand how important our jobs are. Yeah. But she does at the same time. Yeah, so she, she wants does. to like get her, the last word in. She's like, right. all right, go say son. I love you, son. Go say right. son. She's a mom. So she's like, you know, just checking yeah. in every two seconds. Our mom says something. She says, go safe. Yeah. Instead of be safe, instead she says, of, go safe. She says, go safe. Like she's like fucking on, like she's on a star, like on Star Wars. Yeah. Or, or, she, or she's like <laughs> or a home Star Trek. Yeah. Or like a home plate umpire. She's like, go safe. She's like, go safe my sons. And I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's Moses. Why are you telling me to go safe? Am I in trouble? Go safe on your journeys. Go safe on your journeys. There is much arduousness in the way. She's probably in the chat right now. Probably not. <sighs> you ever find it weird? Mom, we love you, but shut up. You ever Thanks. find it weird that the same person that played Dumbledore is the same person that played uh... Gandalf? I don't yeah. know. I actually don't know which guy it is. Yeah, it's Gandalf. Wait, Gandalf I plays think Dumbledore? The same guy. Yeah, it's like that uh, the guy that was Magneto. They're the same. They're the same. Damn, that guy was getting paid. Yeah, is it? Was, yeah, he was both. We can look I at think. the chat. Chat. Is it? Uh, is it a? Uh, is it? Is uh, if he is, he is. I think Dumbledore and and not isn't Voldemort. his name like Ian? Dumbledore and Ian Michael Callen or something? No, is that it? I don't know if that's it. I think he played both of them. Are people still trying to? Yeah. Uh, whoever does. Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, yeah. I Do not both. mistake me for a conjurer of cheap. I can't believe I don't know this. You little uh, hobbit pussy. Is is Gandalf? I'll shove my catalyst up your ass. Is Gandalf? Why does this keep happening? I don't know. Turn that off. There we go. go. Is Gandalf Dumbledore? I grew up being told that. So what? The Gandalf was Dumbledore. Let's see what the. Yeah, sure, Ian. Not the catalyst in the ass. Oh, my God. Did anyone even answer it? Is it Sir Ian? I guess it is. Oh, Kathy's in here. Shout out to Kathy. I think it depends. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, maybe it's not. Ian Dumbledore. I, I think I'm. Uh, it says Dumbledore in the first movie was a different actor, but he died. Yeah, they did. They switched actors after. Yeah. 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 Gandalf and Magneto are the same guy. That I remember. Gandalf ain't Dumbledore. Okay. Yeah. 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 How working. many movies do you think you've watched in your life? I don't know. Probably a million. Probably not as many as Samuel Jackson's been in. That's for sure. Yeah, jeez. That guy's been in like three thousand movies. I think he's in half the movies I've seen. Maybe maybe seventy five percent. All right, so let's say he's you in so watch, many. There's three hundred and sixty five days in a year, right? Huh? There's three hundred and sixty five. Huh? There's three hundred and sixty five days in a year. It was really loud. I couldn't hear you. There was an alert going off. Three hundred sixty five days in a year. Okay, yeah, you're on a roll. Um, Gandalf is Dumbledore. How many? How many movies? Einhorn is Finkel. How many movies do you think you watch out of those 365 days, realistically? In a year? In a year. I don't know. I haven't really watched a lot of movies. Like. So put a number on it. I'm going to Google it, and then I want you to guess oh, it. Oh, the average the people? Average, yeah. average amount of movies, maybe, let's say let's say 25. Maybe 25. 25 <sighs> movies. You're going to say the average person watches 25 movies. Yeah. Is this an important fact to know? What is it? Um... Uh, no, I was just wondering. What facts are ever really important? None, really. Well, they're all, like, lied by by some college that did a test for, like, two days, and then they were like, oh, statistics say this is, like, what people do. So, look. And then everyone just goes, oh, yeah, that's life. A rough estimate yeah, uh, is 20 to 30 movies. Woo! But I think Who the I, fuck said 25 question mark? There you go. 25 to 30. Yeah, but I think that I honestly think And that's that, the first time he's ever asked me that question. I think that I watch more movies than that. Only yeah, 30 probably, days yeah. out of the year you watch a movie with well, Netflix and Hulu and anybody all that can shit? Go above, Shut up. Yeah. Internet? <laughs> anybody can go above what? average. You can go above average. You can go above average, but I feel like I go way above average. With, with as much information that we're given... Uh, like via Hulu, uh, Netflix, HBO Max, Showtime. If people still even watch Showtime, shameless. Um, you should probably ask yourself how many fucking streaming platforms do you own oh, every let, month? Let's do it. I'll do it right now. God, it's just I have, I have Hulu. I have Netflix. Are we doing music too? No, yeah, go all ahead. Right, right, Spotify, right. Apple, Apple Music, and Spotify. Um. I have... This is going to make everyone realize how much money they're spending on yeah. fucking different streaming platforms. Hulu, no commercials. HBO Max. Right. Netflix, no commercials. Right. Uh, ESPN Plus. You have HBO Max? Yeah, you can have it. Uh, I have... Thanks. Uh, yeah, you got it. That's what I was getting at. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> I have that, and then I have a thing, and then I have monthly my Verizon, which is like 75. I just have the internet. Right. And then every once in a while, I do like a, a free trial, bars, for, and this, then, for this thing and called stop. Fubo. What TV. Is, what's Fubo? So I can watch the Knicks. Oh, it's sports TV. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a sports package based streaming service. Yeah, I could do without that because I'm just like the worst sports person on the planet. I mean, as far as knowing stuff, but like athletically, obviously, I like I, I should be playing more. To be honest, I got a basketball recently. I saw that. I I didn't know if that was but, a real purchase, but though. it was a. It did. I have it. It's in my room. It's real. Uh, it's also fucking made out of recycled particles and shit. So I was like, I feel like I might get slapped on the basketball courts for bringing this basketball up. No, that's deep. that's that's but that's mad Gen Z. I'm just yeah. I know. I'm just looking out for my fucking for my for my Earth Gen Z baller. That's all I am. Yeah, you're a Gen Z Hooper. Yeah, That's all. A, you don't even have to be good. I'm a Gen Z Hooper, dude. You're you're doing your part to save the world while playing yeah. basketball. You're like you're like Michael Jordan, Space Jam. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I am like yeah. Michael Jordan, Space Jam. Yeah, yeah. I can't get over this kombucha Booch? beer. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's called Luna Bay Booch Co. It's hard kombucha, and then it says light. So this is really fucking confusing ass label. And and the the fucking flavor is likey lime. Where do you even get that? This is at this is at a grocery town in our store. A grocery, a grocery this is at a grocery, town this is in our a grocery store. store in our town. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going is to grocery, grocery town. town. <laughs> grocery town, lots of fucking groceries. Oh, oh sorry, that's that's someone else's thing, isn't it? Call one eight 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 eight. Suck me. Can, can Selena I put, and Barnes. Can I put medieval music on and then you talk about going to shop at grocery? I'm town? not gonna hear that. Oh shit! 
But uh, but uh, y- you can do it. Okay. Or we can do All it right, at the same. Can- Actually, yes, we can. Let's do it at the same time. Okay. What, what is the link? What is the link? T- tell me. What do I I'm type in? Type in just like medieval. Medieval music. Music. How do you? Okay. Type in medieval music, and, and I think it's, it's like the first, the first one? one. Okay, guys. But let, like, let's go let's, to a minute mark. Okay, a minute. A let's, minute go, in. let's go to like a minute in. That's no, s- no, no, no. Let's let's do an hour in. That's easier. Okay, hour in. An hour in. Yes. Okay. And, and then, I gotta talk about what? How I'm going to the grocery store? Yeah. No, no, no. How you're going to grocery town? All right, going to grocery town. How I'm going to grocery store? Do people even call it grocery store? I'm at an I hour forty six. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Just go. All right, you press space at the same time. All right, okay, I'm good. All right, let's go. You're going to grocery town. All right, wait, 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 wait no, to you get... gotta press both. I can't, I can't hear it. Okay. Oh, it's just gonna be just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to grocery town. All right, but they're not gonna hear on the podcast. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm an idiot. Come on, dick butt. Well, this is the first time we've ever done this. I'm a little afraid. No, don't be afraid. We're going to grocery town. Yeah, just do Bluetooth, and then we're gonna we'll press it at the same. And then yeah, when you press Injury it, injury attorneys. They'll hear right, it for the podcast, and they'll hear it on here because I right. want I want I want the stream to hear it too. Okay, so I'm going to what time? One hour. One hour forty six seconds. One hour forty six seconds. Okay, that's just like what my computer let me do. Okay. 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 Give me one second. Fix it in post. All right. All right. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, did you press play already? Yeah. I didn't press play. We got to count down. You're killing me, Smalls. Go to 101. Go to 101. 101. All right, just play it. Play it in yours until it gets to 101, and I'll hit mine. 101 what? What are you at? 0.3. 1013. Okay. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. It was if it was a cold winter night. A fortnight has gone by. And our town had a is a grocery town. Had a lack of groceries. I come to grocery town. And where could I go but move my feet to grocery town? I'm a town sorry. far, far away from my regular town. Oh, you've traveled far and wide to come to the grocery town, have you? I'm looking for your best plums. We have our best plums. So that I walk all the way. I run through the forest to fight lichens and wolves and beasts, which... What's the word? Monitor these forest towns. (laughs) These forests. So I walk through the forest and fight these beasts. I slay one cleric beast. I slay another beast. As their blood flows down the river of the Minjenki forest, I walk and I see the lights starting to come too. Calm down, boy. It's the city You've lights. You've made it. You've made it. It's the city lights. The city lights of Grocery Town. Boy, you Don't tell me it. to calm down. I'm, I've been... My family is in a famine and we have no groceries. Whoa. I just killed lichen after lichen and wolf after wolf and beast after beast. You're in the right place then, boy. You've made it to Grocery Town. Yes. Get yourself yes. a nice place to sit and listen to a story about Grocery Town. What is this town? I, I've never been here before. I've heard its rumors, but it seems to be real. Many ages ago, oh, people yes. from all over, oh, lichens yes. of lichens, yes. mangians of mangians, yes. they've traveled far and wide with their finest of groceries, yes. only to say we should start a civilization. So they took their plums, they took their kombuchis, they took their matcha balls, and they put them all together, see, to build this, this grocery town. And just know, boy, you are safe here, because you fight no more. I want your finest wares. Oh. I, I want a grapefruit the size of my girlfriend's tarts. <laughs> Slow down, boy. Okay, I'm sorry. Calm down. I've never been here. I'm filled with much joy. I know you are, but that comes much later. And electricity, does that exist yet? <laughs> anyway, I have it inside of me. Tell me one more time. Yes? Okay, one more time. Why have you come to this noble village? My family starves. We've been starving for hours. Little Mary Sue, she's dying. We don't really care for her much because she's not really a great farmhand. Yes. But she needs to eat, my mother says. Let me tell you this. And I do. I Many do. fortnights ago, I fought for my young sister who was not the greatest of farmhands. And you know what I did? 
I severed her hands from her hands, almost a pun with blood. And I said, these hands will never farm again. And you want to know what I did after that? I started my own grocery. Sure, I'd like a grapefruit, though, at the same time. The story's great, but yeah, yeah. I'd like a grapefruit, sir. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. But listen. Have you ever heard about the grapefruit method, my lord? Yes, I have. I've created it. I spend many of fortnights are you bowing master, away. Are you Master Grapefruit? Are you Master Hyman? I was. I've heard stories of your techniques. Long time ago. Your grapefruit techniques. Give the boys grapefruit and leave. Okay. Can I have some berries as well, sir? Yes. I grocery agree. Town! I will tell the world of Grocery Town! Go, boy! You've saved me and my village! Oh, I'm about to. I, but I wanted to say, you've saved me and my town! From, Go and tell everyone, from boy, what you saw From starvation and famine and destruction! Oh, yes, can I have berries and cream, too, as well? Please? Yes, yes, go. Somebody said berries and cream. Oh, yes. right. And pickles. In Grocery okay. Town, I'm, sorry. I'm off. I'll leave. <laughs> tell them, boy! Tell them the story of I'll Grocery tell Town! Them of grocery Town! Anyway, that's how it feels when I do go to the grocery store. So I hate going to my town. And uh, I feel like I'm a stranger these days. That went so long, but so cool at the same time. It was really I like doing. <laughs> that was, that was so I like weird. I like doing sketches Sweet that are entirely instant. way too long, because people are always like, "Oh yeah, like you know, you could do a couple of them." I want it to be extremely long and like super duper. Welcome to Grocery Town, Ooh. town of grocery and sustenance. Oh my god! Yeah, so uh, you went to Grocery Town. I went to the grocery store in our town. In our town, yes. Yeah. And uh, I found this bucha, and the bucha was just chilling there, and this one was damaged, and the owner was there, and he was like, you know what, dude? I'll give you the f a free can of booch, because I told him that I kind of like it. It's weird. I'm not going to lie. Kombucha and, and beer, if you guys think it's weird in the chat, type three. Let me just see. Or 69. Three or 69. Um, but it's not too bad. I'm going to tell you right now. I kind of like it. I fucks with it. Um, low cal, low carb. Which is good for everybody. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I just didn't think it existed. I mean, that's, until now. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool that a guy just handed you a pail of green ale. Yeah, but it wasn't like that. I just I knew I've had this before, and I was asking where they were. It's fucking sixteen dollars for a six pack of these. Yeah, it sounds like kombucha. That is kombucha. If that I've ever sounds heard of like it. bitch. Why can't we just? <laughs> why can't we just be fucking healthy? That's another thing too, dude. It costs so much fucking money. To be healthy, like we're forced. I'm forced to get two large fucking uh, fries from fucking McDonald's at fucking 2 a.m., 1 a.m. every night when I'm up and I want like a healthy snack. But no, because I'm going to be paying probably two or three dollars for two large fucking McNasty fries instead of paying $80 for macadamia nuts. Yeah, yeah, pistachios, bro, mad expensive. Why are pistachios so fucking expensive? And are you supposed to chew a pistachio with the shell on? It's kind of hard. No, what the hell? <laughs> like, why would somebody get pistachios Wait, with who, shells? Do people do that? Yeah. Oh, no, you just, it's just, a, it's just, I think it's like a, this. Who wants to do this? Just get, just get the pistachios right, that are right. out of the shell already. Right, I'm not a fucking squirrel. Can I just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put pistachio <laughs> shells in my mouth and I've cracked them with my teeth. Well, that okay, yeah. I thought you meant oh, like I, I thought I thought you meant shoving pistachios in your mouth and eating them like a fucking goddamn alligator. No, 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 no. You ever see an alligator eat a turtle, bro? No, I don't want to. I'm bro. hearing. I don't want. I don't. I don't even want to think about it. That sounds terrible. I don't know what it is. That's the kind of shit that's on Instagram for some reason. Like fucking, uh, like Juice World is playing over it. And you're like, why do they choose this song for this fucking weird ass video? Yeah, yeah. You ever seen that? I yeah. see. You know those videos where they saw, they show someone like they'll show somebody like working a machine in a factory that you've never seen before. And you're like, oh, that's cool, but why the fuck is fucking Roddy Rich playing in the background? Yeah, it doesn't match the fucking doesn't match what's going. I hate Instagram so much. What, what about TikTok though? I get a lot. I don't, of, really, I don't watch TikTok. Are you on TikTok? You're not no. on the talk. You don't talk. No, I don't talk it up. No. I don't talk. I don't talk as much as I should. But I'm gonna get on TikTok now and be like huge on there. The only TikTok I know is Kesha. That's it. Oh, TikTok on the clock. Stop. Yeah, you gotta make it stop. Gotta make them stop. That's it. That's that the one. TikTok. Yeah, that's a really good song. Shout out Kesha. Come on the show. Yeah, shout out to Kesha. Come on the show, Kesha. She's still alive, right? Kesha. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you she not be? Been the 
club feeling Oh, because she hasn't like made a song in a while? Did. Well, she no. went through a really fucked up thing with some douchebag that would, like had rights to her songs, and he was like a creep and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. She so, runner, she, like, she so she like, star. yeah, so she like disappeared for a minute and shit, but no, she's still alive, yeah. Yeah, yeah for some reason, Let Me Suck Your Titties is like trending again on TikTok right now. It's going to happen. Viral the, shit happens. Shit comes back, you know? I, I, I'm going to brag a little bit. I'm on like the underground Mount Rushmore of social media would let me suck your titties. I never thought that let me suck your titties, something I did in uh, my friend's bedroom while he was away on vacation. Yeah, while you were losing your mind. Danny was losing his fucking mind while living at his friend's house. Yes. I lived all by myself in like a two-bedroom apartment in Yonkers. Yeah, because he was never home. No, nah, he was always out like traveling for business and shit. Uh, Petey Fish, what up, Daddy? Um and I remember just being like, yo, like, I'm just going to make vines in here. And then I made that one. And then it was, I can't believe how big it was. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think any of us knew it would get to a certain point. We did it for our friends first and then she they would know. blow up and you're just like, I can't believe it's gotten to this extent. Like, but vine, it's still vine to this was, day. That was like vine 10 was, years ago. I know. I know. Vine was great. Um, vine was great, but at the same time it was literally like just became kind of just just trash towards the end. And then there were people that were people, the, the toxic trash started to leave. And then there was like, uh, kind of like a little, you know, uh, resurgence is that mm. the world of like people that came by and, uh, kind of helped it out a little bit towards the end, but there weren't enough viewers on the app anymore. So then Twitter was like, fuck it. But I had such a great time on fucking Vine, man. Vine Twitter's, was fucking great. T Twitter kind of slaps. Here's why I fuck with Twitter so much is because it's the, it's the wild, wild west. On Instagram, it's like, hey, what's up? This is my toe. They're like, yo, like, we're going to, like, ghost you. You know what I mean? And yeah. then it's like, now I can't post for three days because my toe was out and, like, I didn't put a disclaimer on it. Twitter is just dog eat fucking dog on there. And TikTok, I think you can get away with a lot of shit, too. No, TikTok, I think they're a little, they're way, well, they're definitely uh, more protective. Uh, they're a little bit more restricted, too. So I think one of my friends got like their videos got banned for having like a fucking sword in it or something. What? Like a fake sword too. That's so you should die for that. You can't ban the swords. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about TikTok. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I literally don't know anything about TikTok. Imagine if there were no guns and there were only swords. Damn, you sound like John Lennon right now. Imagine if there were guns. Imagine if there were no guns or any swords in the world. <laughs> Imagine, imagine all the people. Imagine if swords became bubbles. It'd be a much safer world. Imagine if guns became fish. Imagine if fish became <laughs> helicopters. I can't do it. Strawberry field. Uh yeah, I don't watch I don't fucking I don't fuck with TikTok. I just don't care. I see some trends that blow up and go outside of the realm of TikTok and I'm like, okay, that's pretty funny, but I don't care about I it. I fuck with the talk. I fuck with talking. Talk I, it talk it up. I remember though. I, I just don't understand the like. Uh, it's just a girl like looking, and then they just turn around. Their like big fat butt is there. What, what do you mean? It's like put your head on my <laughs> and just some like I've seen that too. I've ass. seen that too. I'm like, do you fucking even know what this song is? No, you twelve year old horny idiot. Those guys were yeah. speaking of like the Beatles and stuff. Liverpool. You know, you know how I made like that one line about like. Uh, dating a 16 year old girl what when I was rapping uh no I said that and that I was like I'm just like obviously that wouldn't be wise like I said that in there like I wouldn't oh that was the joke that was like, the joke yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah that was a yeah. persona yeah um in those old songs mm -hmm. she was like she was 16 and I was just like mm. oh yeah the old you mean old rock songs old rock shit? songs very statchy wait isn't she's only 17 isn't that the one song too yeah, she's only 17. Right. What the fuck does that mean? That's very statutory rock rock. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Yeah, a lot of old songs. Like, uh, a lot of those older tunes are very statchy. That's that's a... I've never actually really thought about that. That song is weird. Yeah. How old is the guy singing, though? She's only 17. Is my Sharona like that, too? What's my, my Sharona? My, my, my Sharona. What's Sharona? Is, are the lyrics weird? <sighs> I think someone's saying they are. Well, they probably are, I guess. What the fuck does, do they say in My Sharona? Oh, like something has of a younger kind. Hi, hi. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see, see what the top songs. How no many one... big songs do you listen to, though, and you don't even fucking actually listen to the lyrics? You just know the chorus or the hook. 
Well, because that's how big the song is, but you don't really listen to that particular type of music or that genre. Uh, a lot. I would right. say like, uh, so like here's someone, uh, like Africa. Toto. That, the only part I know is, is like, I hear the rains down in Africa. The yeah. one that comes after that. Oh, you're saying the song. Yeah, like, I was that's like, the only what? Part. Do they talk about they weird shit in, in Toto? Away from you. Yeah. I love the love that's something to come and touch the deuce. <laughs> I hear the rains down in Africa. Maybe that's it. And then I don't know what comes after that. Scone, 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 but got back. Fuck, I actually don't know this. Scone, song. Do, 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 do. You know, another know. one like that is uh um Oh holy night, the night is falling and Christ is coming through the night. Christ is coming through tonight. Yeah. That, is that I, what it is? Christ is coming through on tonight. Your knees. Knees. And yeah, with voices, voices, voices Holy Joel? Wait, what's that song called again? Is it Noel or Joel? Who the hell is it? Joel said The night that our Savior was born. <laughs> Like, no, it's like uh, it's like online saying. I don't fucking know that. Song. You're right. I don't know that. Yo, Celine Dion crushes that. Hell yeah. yeah Celine Dion. Gro- does Josh grow grow that song or not? Yeah, he grows it. Does he get on it with permission? Yeah, with permission, of course. Um, the other thing too is um, the other song is uh, like I want to dance with somebody. I don't know any of other words, but I want to dance with somebody. I want to get. Near that person, fuck! No, I, I, I want to feel, feel the heat. Oh, I want to feel somebody. the heat. Yeah, but then after that, like I stop it and I suffer. And then the only part I know is, and when the night falls, yes, my lonely night goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know it either. You're yeah, right. That's it. I suck. Those are like all wedding songs. How do I not know Whitney Houston? Yeah, shout out Whitney. Shout out Whitney. Well, no. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I said it too fast because we're used to saying, it. guys, there's a force of habit. I apologize. Oh, and the biggest one that nobody I knows is. I stopped myself. myself. Is that Billy Joel? It's Billy Joel, right? Yeah, yeah. Office Why episode. Why did you like that? Office episode. Also one of the be- uh, best episodes, too. Ryan started the fire. Ryan started the fire. Ryan did start the fire. Ryan started the fucking fire, dude. And then also, it's like, smells smells like Team Spirit. It's another one, no. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a vibrator. Sounds stupid. Sounds like a vibrator. Fun and fun is. Oh. Here we are now. Entertain us. Family shabbies. Shabby shabbies. Oh, and uh, uh, wait, 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 wait uh, uh, who's that dude that says? I don't, I, that's all I know is the humming. With this dead rat hand. What's that song? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that song. <laughs> is it, it's tall man with his black sexy coat in his red right hand. <laughs> What the fuck is that? That's from like Scream. Yeah, Scream and yeah. Pe- Peaky Fucking Blinders. Peaky Fucking Blinders. Don't forget about the Peaky Fucking Blinders. Yeah, that one is. Uh, I never knew that one, but for some reason, I felt like I knew every word to it. There are a lot of songs that. Uh, Torque Treble. Sorry, I'm going to yell out random people's names now. I've, I realize. It's true. Torque Treble in his red, red hand. Who's that? Who did that sound like? Like fucking Bruce, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Wait, what's a good Bruce song? Other people gather around, people snapping and dancing, 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 looking at my pussy. (laughs) 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 Oh my god. Uh, Wait, wait, what's the uh, the fucking. uh, 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 Walking in Memphis. Living in the 50s, I was on the field. Yeah, that's all I know, too. Walking Walking in in Memphis. 
Dude, that's all. Feel the way I feel. <laughs> that's all. Oh, yo, I'm fucking crying right now. That fucking so. I have tears in my eyes. Ten wilds um, in Graceland. <laughs> Mercy's <laughs> Avenue. Manosaurus. <laughs> Walking in Memphis. Here. You just yell at random people's names in the chat. Chris Carnage coming through. Name sounds like that's like a like a wrestler's Chris name. Carnage, yeah, yeah. The Carnage Bomb. Chris Carnage Bomb. <laughs> the Carnage Bomb, dude. Come my lady, come come my baby, have my fire. Sugar baby. baby. Yeah, I don't know anything to that either. That's about it. God, I don't know a lot of songs. <sighs> yeah. Wait, where's Bruce from? Jersey. He's from Jersey. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Jersey. Yeah, I guess he is from Jersey. Yeah, like right? Him, bon Billy Joel is from Queens, right? That's another song I don't know. Yeah, Billy Joel's from Long Island. Oh, shit. I yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. He is from Long Island. <laughs> Fuck. He is from Long Island. You're right. Uh, I hate not knowing trivia. Do you ever get pissed when you don't know trivia? Yes, all the time. I forget shit all the fucking time. And I'm like, oh, uh, uh, I'll watch like Jeopardy. What fucks me up is the what if and who is and what is and who is, what is. Oh, uh, answering the form of Yeah, question. it fucks me up because I just say, I want to say the answer so fast because I'm ADHD. Yes, so yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that happens to me sometimes too when I'm watching it, and like I don't know why I'm answering in the form of a question. I should just say it. Like, yeah, why, I, I don't. Would, I wouldn't remember at, that. I'm part. sitting. In my, I'm like, uh, what is a quiche? Yeah, what is a quiche? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, why am I saying that? How do you spell quiche? Q U I C H E. How do you spell onomatopoeia? <laughs> Let's both try right now. And see how it does. Oh. Uh, Damn. Is it a no? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a, like a scared little kid right now. Oh. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You try. On a monopoly. Don't look at the chat either. No, no, no. Don't no, fucking no. cheat. I'm not. I'm not. Close your eyes when you do it. All right. I can't close my eyes all the way because I'm, I lose my equilibrium. Uh. <laughs> What? I lose my equilibrium, dude. When I close my eyes for too long, I get like, like <sighs> I get off. All right. Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Do it. I'm on Pia. Uh, I spell it, you bitch. On fuck. I n o m o n o p a. On a mono. On a mono. P. Sounds like a word L M and M made created. P a. P U uh? All right, I'm gonna go. I, I just I'm gonna, say it. Uh? I'm gonna seriously go. Uh is not a fucking letter. Anna, mana, Anna, 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 your, Anna, your family. Uh, O, N, N, O. What's that phone here? Oh, M, A, N, A, P, I, A. Let's see. Wait, no, wait. Say it again. O N N A. O-N-N-A-M-A-N-N-A-P-I-I-Y-A. <laughs> Bro, I just spelled onomatopoeia with a uh. Let me see how you spell it. Oh! I don't think I was know. way off. <laughs> <laughs> it's O-N-A. Ooh, did I say O-N-N-A? I said O-N-N-A. Yeah, yeah. O-N-A-M-O-N-A-P-I-A. That, that's, that word's mad easy. Yeah. Onomatopoeia, dude. I think I was close. It sounds like a place. Um, what was the other word? Uh, that was it. I think it was just one word. Yeah. I already saw the episode like back in the day where you tried spelling facetious. And now I know how to spell it. Facetious. Cuban link flooded Jesus. Facet facetious. Right? Facetious. Yeah, that's it. I told you the story. I think I spelled it. Uh, spelled it? I've told it on the show before i said it with dad when i was in the spelling bee and i spelled walrus w-a-l-r-i-s like walrus uh, uh, walrus yeah that's walrus yeah and i thought i got it right <laughs> yeah. it was an avalon oh my god Jersey. i fucking love that dude yeah, my third or fourth grade spelling bee i fucking uh, almost took that home tanked it tanked it uh, walrus and i went mm. yeah walrus Remember is kerbara goya wal walrus is probably a very easy word to spell Walrus? Yeah. In third grade? Now? Yeah, get, third graders now are way more advanced than third graders 20 years ago. Do they? Oh, wait. And they don't give you the words to study, right? They just give you random no, words. They, no, they do. They they give oh. you they give you level, so you like, that level word. Like, if it's... 
I think in certain curriculums they have words who are level rate like ranges. Like this is a third level grade. I'm word. just thinking of you spelling that wrong, and all the teachers are like, "It needs to be left back." I think we're gonna think about it. Too. Nah, dude. Walrus is like not. That's an easy one to make mess up. It's not oh, like I spelled no, it, it like well because it's the way it sounds. Yeah, yeah. If I spelled it W A L L R I Z Z, I mean, I mean right, people still people still are like, "Hey, how do I spell this word?" You know, it's it's not easy to it's not easy to fucking you know who does that a lot. I mean, Mom. sometimes it, it's easy to mess up easy easy words. So yeah, you know, well, oh yeah, like how do you spell descent? D E S. Oh, you stopped. No, no, it's descent. Like oh, that's descent right there. Yo, that, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who says that, but is that how you spell yeah, descent? Of course. Yeah, it is. It's descent. Yeah. Oh, I Damn. got I got descent now. Yeah, you got the scent now. You got the juice now. You got the juice scent now. Something in All right, so um, what I was thinking was, <clears throat> should we ask the chat if I should I do the gummy bear first and then the questions? You think? Uh, let me do the ads. You want to do the ads now? Yeah, let me do the ads. No, how we're, about we're forty five minutes in? I kind of have to. Oh, okay. We gotta do yeah. All right, all right. How about how about this? Let me let me ask the chat right now too. Yeah. Chat, do we do do we do the gummy bear first this or is, the question? This, this is a Twitch a Twitch chat. Yes. Do we ask the uh yeah, well you don't call YouTube comments the chat, Yo, what you? up, YouTube comments? Yo, YouTube chat, how you guys doing? Yeah, what up? <laughs> yo, yo, YouTube commies. Yo, YouTube comment chats. How what you up, doing? YouTube communists? All right, gummy bears first. So after you do the ads, uh, we're gonna do the gummy bear. Dude, good luck with that. That's going to be fucking terrible. Gummy bear. I don't know if you should do that this early because you might not be able to talk for the entire episode. No, are you kidding me? It doesn't last 30 minutes. It, it lasts like it's it's bad, but it, there's like a power of 10 minutes. Gummy I don't but I don't believe it. I'm worried about you, to be honest. So I'm a little afraid for your well-being right now. Yeah, well, that's, that's your anxiety just, trying to make my anxiety terrible. No, which is totally here's the fine. thing. Here's the thing. It's not your anxiety. I am not going to eat. Anything that is going to turn my innards into a furnace, I I can't do that. Right, like that. But what's that? That death chip? My, that Tokalito chip or some shit? Uh, my innards are going to be fine. I really hope they are. Also, I not, took I'm a stomach be... lining thing early in the day to make sure that my stomach lining would be sufficient and okay. Oh, then that's cheating. You know? No, it's not because I have to deal with the the, the threshold. Oh. You know a threshold? Yeah, I'll show you my threshold. You want to know what also has a great? <laughs> you know what also is great for threshold? Ooh, what is? Raycon. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Raycon. Thank you so much for being a sponsor of the show. I, I love got me Raycon. some. I got me some Raycons. I love me some Raycons. All right. Listen. All I want to say is this about Raycon. Raycon has changed the way that I listen to my podcast. The way I watch YouTube, the way I just chill in the crib, the way I work out. Uh, listen, you have all these other uh, Bluetooth headphones out on the market and you hear like some of these bigger ones or whoever, you know who I'm talking about. They are not as good as Raycon. And I'm not just saying that because they are a sponsor of the show. Raycon is lit and Raycon is it. Okay. Whether it's for work or play, a lot of us are going to be on the move again this summer. So my advice to you is take your Raycons with you. Okay. A pair of Raycons wireless earbuds in your ears can make all the difference. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of premium audio brands. You know who you are. Raycons look great and feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with customizable gel tips included for comfortable in-ear fit, okay? Jeez. Raycons are built to go whenever you go with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing, brother, and compact charging case, dude, all right? So listen, like I said, I love Raycon more than any other wireless Bluetooth headphone I've ever used, and I'm not just saying that because they're a sponsor. I'm saying it because it's the truth. You and wear guess what? You, you got them in every time it comes to my house. That's what it is. And uh, I got them in every time I'm out in the gun. Raycon! So. I, do, right. I do have the cons. And listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off of all their products for our listeners, and here's what you got to do to get it, okay? Go to buyraycon.com slash lops. That's buy Raycon dot com slash lops brother that's l-o-p-s dude all right so go to buy raycon.com slash lops then you will get your 15 percent off your entire raycon order okay not just one item the entire order brother and it's such a good deal you'll want to grab a pair and a spare that's 50 percent off at raycon.com slash lops l-o-p-s buy raycon.com slash lops 
Yeah, dude. Is that it? Yeah, that's it today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. can we get a Raycons in the chat Ray real quick, please? Raycons, Raycons, they Ray sound Cons. good, baby, and Bye. they're with you on the go. Buy Raycons or I'll do what I gotta do. All right, I'm gonna do it. Someone said to get milk. I'm not doing milk, I'm yo. Sure. Y'all must not know about me. True player for real. Ask my friends for real. You guys thought I was gonna slip up there. All Do right. you have anything to drink? I got. You want to go get ice? Get ice in the in the freezer, please. Pour for four. And, and the water and water. In your mouth and water. Yeah, just put it in my mouth. And water. And water. <laughs> Give me some ice and water, please. All right, I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm gonna Look, suck this oh, gummy no, bear. I need it yet. I need to watch. I need to watch. Oh, I can smell the toxic. Oh, it's burning my nose. Miranda, thank you for the five, by the way. Yo, shout out to all right, shout out to the patrons, guys. The patron patrons. Um, um, I don't let all your. I gotta let people know I'm doing this, man. I don't even. I don't even know how many people are here. It's all good. Um, I'm, I gotta tell people. Taking the gummy bear. I'm getting you ice. Taking the the bear. Pray for me. I'm telling everyone to pray for me right now, guys. I'm fucking shook. Taking the bear, pray for me, yeah. Okay, all right, fuck. Yo, prayer y'all's in the chat. Prayer y'all's in the chat. Pray to God. Pray, pray, pray. Oh, pray y'all's. I thought you said pray to God. Okay, that's ice. Did you get water? Nah, water's not good. It'll spread it throughout your mouth. Ah, fuck. All right, so Mike's going to eat. Can you show it to the camera? Thank you, Miles. Yes. Guys, I'm going to eat this fucking bear. Shout out to mom. Mom's in the chat. Shout out to our mom in the chat. Mike's about to eat this gummy bear that's the hottest gummy bear in the entire continental U.S. and I think the world. All right, yeah. So half of this podcast is going to be me screaming probably. <clears throat> or not. I might be able to handle this. Yes. Shout out to Colt Revolver, ladies and gentlemen. In Colt the chat. Revolver, shout out. Uh, go to patreon.com slash podcast to sign up to be a patron. All right. This was Michael didn't want to dress up. Because uh, we couldn't find a really good outfit from the wear. Well, so I would have said, dressed up, but we couldn't find anything that was like better like, than Ursula. Ur Ursula was just too. Yeah, good. Ursula was too lit. Ursula was so too lit. So what we decided we'll is for 400 patrons, we hit our 400 mark. Mike's gonna eat the hottest gummy bear in the world. Yes, in the world, dude. In the world, brother. Just throw it down, brother. I can't touch my face either. All right, you can't touch your face. No, because doesn't it have shit all over it? That's gonna <sighs> fuck up my eyes. Can I look up tips to eat this gummy bear real quick? Uh, no, don't. Because that that's, I feel like that's cheap. Gummy bear. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this. About okay. it's is about it called? Oh, it's called a little nitro to suck the bear. Yes. Oh, so Mike's about to eat something called the little nitro, which is uh, <laughs> sounds like a ra rapper. Uh. Although one little nitro gummy bear probably won't kill you, it will leave your mouth, throat, and stomach feeling like they're on fire. Yeah, I'm going to shit my pants. And just in case you're wondering, it's technically raspberry flavored, but you'll probably have trouble to taste its flavor while the fire yeah, engulfs your being, mouth after you chew it, dude. Yeah, it's being uh, disrupted and interrupted by all the fiery flames of death. Oh, my God. Flavor. Well, listen, uh, oh, <sighs> yeah, should, we do a, should we get a drum roll going or something? Yeah, do a drum roll. I'll do a drum roll, too. Let's e get a drum roll going. Everyone just make a drum roll sound in the chat until I take it, all right? Yeah. And and then Danny will put it on for the for the whatever, for the podcast. Okay, <laughs> I just don't even care about it. All right. All right, put it in your mouth. All right. Here we go. All right. Show the everyone, camera. Show the camera. Everyone fucking drum roll it. And ladies and gentlemen, we got this. We're doing it. All right. Shout out to Colton yeah. Walter. For those listening. For those listening. Taking it out, smelling it. It's in his mouth. Gummy bears in his mouth. He's chewing it. Oh my god. He's chewing it. Oh my god! No, it's increasing. Is it? Is it bad? It's increasing. What, no, what number? One to ten. I don't. Uh, five, ten. Is that bad? Not yet. No. Not yet. It's becoming juice. Hot juice. that bad oh my god oh my god oh my god oh, why is he getting why is he keep going do you want water no 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 wait wait you need milk you oh need milk. god no, i don't have milk he oh needs god some milk all right so uh mike ate this fucking thing and uh i cut the camera because i legitimately got afraid because his face was so scary and he couldn't say anything and i got i honestly got worried for his health because he looked at me and his eyes turned bloodshot red. He's crying at the moment. 
and he's he's chewing some ice, so he feels a little bit better. Yeah, I'm chewing ice. Sorry, guys. Okay. So that was like a 10-minute ordeal just now. I was like, I didn't want people to see you in that much pain. That really scared me. (sighs) Ice is great. That's really good. Would okay. you would you ever do that again? No. Have you ever done the uh, the spicy nacho thing? Oh my god! Fuck! Oh, See, yeah, you can't even talk right now. Will I ever do spicy nacho? I'm not. I'm not doing anything spicy ever again, man. I'm not doing anything spicy ever again. There's no way I'm ever doing anything spicy ever. Not like that. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm telling you that. If you're dying, you're dying, bro. Hey, G. Uh, I'm just gonna cover for you. I'm gonna cover some time and do do. Th- oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I gotta put my teeth back in. Hey, yo. Did you eat it so spicy? Oh, the spicy. Oh, the gummy bear so spicy. Yeah. Know that gummy bear so spicy. Yeah. Hey yo. Hey yo, my brother ate a gummy bear. Super spicy. I'm like, God damn, they don't wanna fight me. I'm like, oh yeah, all night, bro. I got my brother eating on a little nitro. Yeah, he ate a little nitro bear. And he was like, God damn, I don't care. As soon as he chewed into that little bitch, he started sweating and started crying everywhere from the nitro bear. I tried, to, I, tr- I tried to cover for you. No, we're good. Keep going. I'm uh, fine, man. I'm good. It just it, Now it's just if I ate something regularly spicy, it's just going away. Go ahead. That was genuinely scary for like... Yeah, stop. Five. Don't overthink it. We're good. Keep going. It's all, on with the show, baby. We got to do this. We got to right, keep, right, cool. keep going. All right. Well, sell, my, sell my soul. If you're just joining us, uh, Michael ate a thing called the Lil Nitro, which is the hottest gummy bear on the planet. <laughs> yes. And... Uh, he was, was jumping around in his chair where I I, I panicked. Yes. I got afraid. Yes. Um, I got a little bit afraid. Uh, I don't even know what to segue into this, but I'm just going to ask you, <laughs> have you ever eaten something that hot before? No, that was probably the hottest thing I've ever eaten. That was probably the hottest thing I've ever See, eaten. See, this is why I would never do the one chip challenge, the one bear challenge. I would never do any of that. I had to do it for the patrons, dude. For yeah. The patrons. For the patrons. Uh, We're because, gonna get you saying that word right by the end of the night. Yeah, I can't say anything right by right right now. <laughs> right by right uh, by right, right now. All right, now spell um spell spell um wakaka wakaka w a c a c a no how do you no. spell that I'm trying to keep your mind off things. What's your favorite potato? Favorite potato? Do you like sweet? sweet? Yeah, I like sweet potatoes more than regular potatoes. I like anything. I sweet. fuck with sweets. I like anything sweet and not spicy. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you like chunky mashed potatoes or lumpy mass or or, or I creamy? like ch- uh, I like mashed potatoes. I like I like no meat. chunk in it. No chunk. Chunk's cool sometimes, but I like I like mashed mostly. Right. Go to Taco Bell order. Uh, cheesy gordita crunch nice. and uh, Omega Crunch Wrap Supreme. Nice. You got both at once. Uh, yes. Have you ever done a uh uh a, like a golden sombrero? Or a platinum sombrero. A golden sombrero. So this is what a golden sombrero and a platinum sombrero is, right? Okay. You go for a golden sombrero. You go to Taco Bell, yeah, Burger King, and McDonald's, right? All within like the same hour. Oh no, I've never done that. Yeah, and I don't then, think I've ever done that. And no. then a platinum sombrero is when you go to Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, and Taco Bell all within like the same hour, and uh, get something from each. Oh no, I've never done that before. I did. I did like a three order thing, but I didn't. I don't know if it was called anything. I don't know if it qualified for any of those. Yeah, no, it is. If you if you did all three, but I've done it right. multiple times. Right. And it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's bad. Let me tell you something. 
I want everyone to fucking hear this. So outside of my building, Mr. Softy truck parks there sometimes, like during nice weather and shit. Right. So I'm just like, all right, cool, bet, like whatever. I like, Mr. I've seen it before. I haven't got it. Right. Last week I got it. Right. Mr. Softy is the best ice cream available. I don't think I've ever had. It's better than I've all had a legit Mr. Softy before. Oh, you have. You have. It's it's like uh it's like Carvel soft serve. I don't think I've ever had it. I don't think I maybe I have. Maybe you've had you have never had a a, a a vanilla chocolate swirl, brother? Uh, I don't know, maybe. A vanilla chocolate soft ice cream swirl, dude. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that before. Maybe 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 you've I can't had to have. Everybody has. I just remember going as a kid to Carvel and if I got if it's at Carvel then I probably had it before, yeah. Cold Stone sucks compared to it. haagen trash. Trash. Ben and Jerry's trash. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All that shit, get out of here. Give me a fucking vanilla chocolate swirl from motherfucking Mr. Softy any day. Or without the I, whale. What about the Fudgy the Whale, too? Oh, okay. fu- Fudgy the Whale is fire. Fudgy okay, the Whale yeah. is fire. Yeah. I, I love Fudgy the Whale, but I'm just letting you know this right now. Everything, everything I've always had, mm-hmm. ever had, that was considered ice cream bows down to Mr. Softy, bro. Right, right. It does, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say, I think my favorite is just the old school fucking uh, the swirl. The fucking old school chocolate vanilla swirl from fucking Carvel, because Carvel's kind of beast. Wish Hell I had yeah, that in my daddy. fucking mouth right now. Not Hell yeah, lie. daddy. But, Hell uh, yeah, daddy. I feel, I feel a little bit better. I feel good. I just, I'm so burpy because of it. Yeah. But yeah, Carvel is Carvel was was really good. Mr. Softy, I don't know what the specifically what the fuck that is. I can't I can't say whether or not I like it. Well, I, here, I'll show you a picture of what Mr. Softy ice cream looks like. I mean, I, I, I are you talking about from the fucking truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, I, don't, I don't I don't remember. But soft serve ice cream. You've had soft serve ice cream, brother? Yeah, like soft, this. Yeah, is that called Miss? Is that called Mr. Softy universally? Yeah, Mr. Softy, dog. Oh, I didn't Mr. Softy slaps on all levels that cannot be slapped. It is. The level of slap is ridiculous. Cold, I almost said the wrong word. Cold and creamy and soft. That's how I like it. Yeah, dude. Cold, cold creamy. creamy, soft. Let me tell you something. If you had some Mr. Softy right now, that mouth would be doing oh, different be types so of things. so good. What, what happened after I ate the fucking gummy was I was getting fucking ridiculous chest pain and stomach pain. It's like something went off in my fucking yeah, goddamn no. body. That would trigger like a heart attack for me. I can't do that it. It'd be, it'd be like that guy from Dumb and Dumber that dies from eating those Yeah, poisons. but he has an ulcer. I don't think his ulcer causes yeah, it. Yeah, no, he dies from poison. Oh, yeah, it is yeah. the poison, isn't it? Oh, Kick yeah. his ass, see my ass. Yeah, he's like, my ulcer. My ulcer. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, that, that was the part that fucking sucked. I was like, oh, my God, my fucking chest is on fire right now. Yeah. I'm trying to talk with this thing in. I just can't do it. I sound like Jim Carrey from The Cable Guy. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite fucking Jim Do you like some Jewess? But, yeah, um, so, uh, soft serve soft serve is probably my, uh, my I guess if if that means it universally, yes. I've never had whatever that red shit is. I've had sprinkles on fucking Jimmies. Do you call them Jimmies or sprinkles? Sprinkles. Who the fuck calls them Jimmies? Some people do call them Jimmies in other par- parts of the world, I guess. Yeah. Other parts of the world. Oh, my God. Fucking Jimmies? Yeah, dude, Jimmies. Jimmies is a thing. Have I think, j- right? Don't you got some, have some Jimmies? Or a, yeah, it's like the little fucking sprinkles that you put on them or some shit. I can't be the only person that knows that they call they're called Jimmies. <laughs> kind of sounds racist. Uh, does it? I don't know if I want to. Uh, does it? Yes. Yeah, give me some chocolate Jimmies. Some chocolate Jim Jams. Yeah. Oh, some, yeah. Something off. Yeah. See, somebody said it in the chat. Uh, I don't know what the. F- I, don't, I have. I have no idea. I just. I've heard Jimmies before. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you guys making me fucking now? Now my chat, my chat's like, what the hell? No, it's, is it? I don't know. I never heard that. I never heard of Jimmy's in my life, Jewish. Yeah, people call them Jimmy's, Jimmy Sprinkles. That's gonna be a good one. All right, yeah. See, some people know that, so I can't be the only person. Rate your top five Jim Carrey movies. Uh, Cable Guy. Not not, not, not any order. No, no, no. I no, don't, dude, gotta fucking, go in order. My body's in fucking pain right now. All right, I'll do. I'll order. do it. Then you go with mine. All right, go ahead. Can't liar, liar. Right. The Truman Show. Nice. Ace Ventura. Sick. Part one. Sick. Um, Dumb and Dumber. Sick. And number five, I will go with. It doesn't have to be comedy? No. Okay. And I will go with number five, favorite Jim Carrey movie. <sighs> Eternal Sunshine Spotless Mind is a really good movie. But uh, I don't know. Um, Bruce Almighty. 
Okay, I'm gonna go. Me myself and I. I'm gonna me go, myself and I. Room will be my five. I'm gonna go that's, liar that's liar. I'm gonna go liar liar. Me myself and Irene. Ace Ventura. Which one? Uh, the first one. Ah. Uh, yeah, I like the first one. Uh, and all right, so yeah, uh, and then the last two, Truman Show. Very good. And I'm gonna say Eternal Sunshine, the Spotless Mind, because I fucking love that movie. It's a really, really good movie. Man I mean, on the Mo- Man on the Moon, very good. Yeah, Man on the Moon is good, but you know, Man on C- the Moon. Cable is really- Guy is so good too. Cable Guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I would put in Cable Guy instead of Eternal. If we're not, let me gonna, tell you something. If we're gonna talk just comedy, I hate to be this morbid. Yeah. But whenever Jim Carrey dies, yeah, the world is going to be so incredibly fucking. It'll sad. be, I dude. After Robin Williams passed away, I was so fucking sad. I'm gonna. It's the same fucking thing. That one. That like, was really. He's like one of like my comedic heroes. I fucking yeah, love Jim yeah. Carrey. That that really that really hurt. Love Jim Carrey. That one. Oh my balls. <sighs> yeah, I love Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is like one of my favorites too. Like he'd be <laughs> one, he'd be one of those people. Like I'd be really super sad about. Yeah, I but, mean, just, he's very very. He's gotten mad weird, but I love it. Yeah, but I guess he, he's an artist, too. Like, he's a really great painter and stuff. So maybe that just, I don't know, maybe it comes with the territory of being, like, a really intense artist and someone who, like, wants to master their craft and stuff, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I love I love me some fucking Jim Carrey. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, Robin Williams passed away. All I did, all I did nothing but fucking Robin Williams uh, movies. Like, what, what are your top five Robin Williams movies? Robin Williams? God, that's, like, so much harder. My top, top five Robin Williams movies probably, like, Hook... Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh my God. Uh, good mo- uh, good morning Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Um, fucking ah, oh, shit. What other what other great Ron Williams movies? Jack, Jum- uh, Jumanji, Jumanji, Jack, and uh, I didn't really, Jack was okay. Yeah, I, I mean ones that you like see his face and then he kills it in. Uh, What's the one when he's like a robot and dies? Oh, I Bicentennial Man? Bicentennial Man. God, I forgot about that movie, dude. That's a good oh, movie. Oh, yeah, Dead Poet Society. That's up there for me, too. Love that movie. It's not a funny movie, but he's no. like... Uh, but he's good. Goodwill he's Hunting? Really good in it. Oh, yeah, Goodwill Hunting. He's, uh, yeah, he's a beast in that, she too. She was the fart in sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love all those little piccadillies. It's like how I learned that word when he talks to Matt Damon about like his his. It's wife. not your fault. His late wife. It's not your fault. Yeah, when he says that, I feel weird even when he does that line over and over and over. And I'm like, oh, God. what a, Acting is so crazy. Acting is so nuts. It's all over the place. It's Taxi like, I could, did. Yeah. Taxi. Taxi! Yeah, yeah. Uh, but is that those that? are probably my top five. Is that that movie? Or is he that has the one a lot of crazy up? ones. Flubber, I didn't watch. Oh, Patch Adams is a banger, too. Yeah, I cry too much when I watch Patch Adams. Yeah. Patch Adams is a crazy good movie. Flubber, I thought was like a... Wasn't it bad? I, I could have sworn people said it was bad. What's the movie with Ed Norton? Uh, Mr. Smoochie? Oh, fucking Death to Smoochie. That, that movie is awesome. That movie is great. That when he makes all those little dick, dick cookies? Yeah, yeah. Great movie. All right, I'll yeah. go my five. I'm gonna go Mrs. Dalfire. Hot right. jambalaya. Hot jambalaya. Such a fucking goddamn. Such a fucking goddamn good movie. Uh, Mrs. Dalfire. <sighs> Hook was big when they're Hook all when big. they're eating that imaginary goop and shit. Yes, I wanted to eat it. Oh yeah, when yeah. Like I imaginary know. foods. Like, I know. Boom, boom. I'm like that. Shit looks. Like it slaps. Yeah, that it did make me hungry too as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hook, uh, uh, Mrs. Dalfire, Hook, <sighs> Goodwill Hunting's up there because I just love that movie. Yeah, and he's so good in it. Yeah, I think he like won an Oscar for that shit. Too. Yeah, he did. He did. Um, Awakenings, right? With Robert De Niro. Yes, also, if you've never seen one. it. Also a good one. The movie is amazing. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go with uh, Jack. I like Jack a lot. Yeah, I mean, if you do, you like Jack, you like Jack. But I, I just, for some reason, I couldn't get into that movie. Really? Yeah, just you're not a Jack it. guy. I didn't think it was bad. I just couldn't get into it. Flubber was, I, I'd never even seen Flubber, to be honest. Another one where I a young child bad. tries to have sex with an older person. Oh, yeah. Well, because we were talking about Big, right? Yeah, we were talking about Big. But she doesn't know, to be fair, for that one person's character. But, like, yeah. Just, uh, like, fuck like a 10-year-old. Yeah, but she doesn't know that she does until later, and then she's still cool about it. She, yes, doesn't, even yeah, freak out. Okay. she doesn't even freak out in big. No. When she finds out the truth. So, yeah, Jack, I, I it's uh, 
the uh the what's her graduation name? scene it's j-lo no it's not j-lo yeah it's, j-lo's in jack dude no she's, she is but uh it's the other ch- fran drescher that he dates <laughs> or something yeah. like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. she has like drescher. a she has like a weird thing with him yeah what dreams may come i don't remember that movie no i don't know i don't remember. I think i ever saw it to be honest so no. But uh, yeah, fucking um, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's it. I mean, those are my top five for Robin Williams, one hundred percent. Because he was just so good at being so quick and fast, and like all his improv scenes are something you want to watch. Like back in the day, oh yeah, he was someone like I, I definitely look up to. Like when I was watching, everybody stuff. like they said like Robin Williams would borrow stuff. Like all com- comedians borrow things. Everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody does. And then you just make it. You make it because your you're own inspired. Thing in a way. Yeah, yeah, you're inspired don't, don't by steal, other people. Don't steal a joke though. At the no, same no, time, no. You know? You're inspired by other people. Yeah. That's just what it is. You know dude, what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm like, a human parrot. You are. Yeah, dude. I re- I just repeat things people say all the time, like walking down the street. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We probably we probably have to pause it for a second. What happened, guys? I gotta use it. My chest is killing me. You're afraid? And no, I have to take a shit. I think. See, I told you I was afraid this thing should did it at the end of the show. Now, I know. I'm, now I'm terrified for you. No, no, I'm fine. But I have guys. I gotta get up. I gotta fucking take a shit or something like that. Cause my it just keeps coming back. I gotta take a shit, and I'm having the worst. I told you there. that you should not have eaten yes, this you fucking did. thing. You did. I yes. told you not to eat this. Yes. Yeah. I, I told you. This right. little nitro. Now you gotta right. go do a big nitro. I gotta do a big nitro. All right. I do. Like, uh, this thing is fucking killing me. This thing is actually killing me right now. So. All right. All right. So let's pause it. Yeah, and, let's, pa- uh, let's pause know, and, we'll and then we'll go from there. All right, so um, uh, we had to stop filming because Michael almost had to go to the hospital. Um, he <laughs> ate that nitro gummy, and my dad brought him some milk. And uh, Michael can't really film right now. He's laying on the floor over there. Say what's up to everyone, Mike. What's up, guys? Mike's laying on the floor next to the toilet. So uh, our dad, uh, I asked my dad to substitute, and uh, my dad's here. So, uh, Daddy, chill. Dad, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. Welcome to the show, Dad. It's a flashback to childhood. Yes, it is a flashback. Flashback to childhood. Yours, not mine. Did you um? Did you ever think that while your sons were almost close to forty, you'd be bringing them milk because they ate hot things? Yes, I did. <laughs> I was literally rolling on the grass. <laughs> Overdose. I was rolling on the grass and outside in the wet grass, and my dad just comes up with just a bag of yogurt and milk. Did you buy it? No, we have all we have refrigerator full of milk, yogurt, all that kid proof stuff. All that. That's not. I didn't. From the jump, I just want you guys to know before we even started the show, I told Michael not to eat this thing, and he just insisted on eating it. So I was like, <laughs> okay, all right, if you want to eat it, he texted me earlier in the day, and I was like, I'm not eating that shit. And then well, he was. I'll um. I brought it to him. It was, it was delivered. To yeah, my Dad house. delivered it. It was delivered to our parents' house. No wonder you came over here so fast. Then yeah. I, I advised him to fake it, but he said, I can't do that to my yeah. I was fine until it's, it felt like somebody shot me in my fucking stomach. Yeah. And that's when I started freaking out because I'm like, dude, I'm getting lightheaded and shit. I get on my knees. Dan, Danny actually, I got to say, Danny did very well. Danny was very calm. He didn't freak out. He called my dad. He called my mom. Because at one point I was like, okay, what the hell's happening to me now? Because now this is like, I thought it would just go through my body and then it would suck. But I would just be spicy on my mouth. But then it turned into this like crazy pain, and I was just like, "Oh shit!" So I'm rolling, I'm rolling around outside, and Danny's just like, "Dude, you're you're gonna, we'll, we're fine, we're fine. Dad's coming." And I'm like, I'm, "I think I'm just feeling like I'm fucking just got shot, like I'm having a heart attack." And uh, my dad rolls up, and he's <laughs> got milk. Oh, yeah, so uh, I had to call an audible as the you know the the producer of the show. I had to make sure that the show gets done. So I just picked the next of kin, and my dad was here already. So welcome to the show, Dad. Um, hey, thanks, Daddy. I love you. This is a, a kind of a, a curveball thing. I love happy to be here. I like that you're dressed kind of like an undercover like cop right now, like a sexy <laughs> undercover cop. In Hastings, that's the way to roll around. Yeah, you dress like an undercover cop. Look okay. like you're a cop from Yonkers. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm still a little shaken up. I got very afraid when he does that. I will never eat hot shit like that. I don't know if you've eaten things like that. I, I don't think any of that. I've never done the cinnamon challenge. Have you ever done the cinnamon challenge, Dan? No. So hot you, peppers, we used to be dares, you know. Yeah. Hot peppers, can you eat a jalapeno? Can you yeah. Eat? So retro. I, I would so bite a little end of it. It's very I, retro. Yeah. I do crap like that all the time, for especially for like... 
I don't know, for subs and patrons and stuff, but I shouldn't be doing crap like that, to be honest. I think, <laughs> I think I've learned my lesson at 34. You, yeah, you kind of put your body through a, a pretty bad test today. Yeah, I'm that was, I mean, it, dude, it was just for that t- five minutes, that was just hell. Like, my stomach just felt like somebody threw a bomb inside of it and let it off. It's crazy. Yeah, it looked like it, too. See, we were still filming, and I stopped filming. Because it got to a point where it didn't look funny anymore. Yeah. So that's why I ended up cutting the camera. Right. It, well, it, it did. It, I also didn't want to see you like struggling for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we, you know, yeah. That's bad TV. Your, yeah. That's your bad mom. TV. Your mom watches. You know, Twitch watches the Twitch. Yeah. Your gaming, and then she comments, and yeah, she's, got, she's got her old yeah. comment crew. I, I watch a little bit sometimes, but tonight it was live, so we said, "Oh, we're gonna watch the podcast live." Yeah. And what could happen? <laughs> Yeah, happen on the podcast. He almost it's died. probably just going to be funny and embarrassing as usual. <laughs> Why does, yeah, very funny and the, very embarrassing. The funny thing that's the funniest thing is that mom's thing is always go to the hospital and dad's is never go to never the hospital. Never go to the hospital. No. And, and, most, and honestly, hospital. most of the time, dad is right. Yeah, dad is right. A lot of the times you go to the hospital, you don't need to go. I think I've only had to go to the hospital maybe twice when I really needed to go. Right, right. Any other time it was, uh, you know, I was just saving face. Well, I, I, learned, that, I learned that from your grandfather. On the construction site, nail in the foot. How deep is the nail in the foot? How how to go? Was it a dirty nail in the foot? Did it go through your foot? Went through the sneaker into the foot and wouldn't come out. Ew! So he cut the sneaker off. <laughs> yeah, it was still in. Yeah, and then he <laughs> said, "Oh, we're gonna have to put some alcohol on that." And and then called my mom, went home, and my mother said, "Take him to the hospital now, or don't come home." So I went to the hospital, and then when you get to the hospital, they don't just put alcohol on there. They probe it with a little metal thing. Yeah, but this, uh, it, just let everybody yeah. know, this this was like 1970? 64. 1964. 64, yeah. Yeah, I know, because I had a Little League game that night, and my father said, you're not playing the Little League. You have to, my mother wants you to go to the hospital and get that thing probed out, yeah. and then they give you a tetanus. Ugh. So I had to play the Little League game with my arm like that. And and you went and played? Left. Yeah. How'd That's the way how'd we you, did. How'd you play? I, like, as I did normally, I wasn't very good. I wasn't a good baseball player. Yeah, I, I wasn't a great baseball player either. I was okay. I, I was not good at all. I don't even think I was okay. I was very bad at baseball. When I was little, I was good at baseball. I remember one time I, I hit the I, ball. I hit two grand slams uh, on Father's Day. Do you remember that? I do remember that. Yes. And it was like the first game my dad came to because he was like very busy with work. And I was like, where's my dad? It was like a movie. Yeah. And I hit two grand slams in the same game. And then that was it. I was done after that. Very Wait, touching. dad was there when you slammed him? Yeah, yeah. two. I hit two grand slams. I had eight ribs, yeah. eight RBIs. Yeah, God, I feel like such a disappointing son because Dad's never had like a great sporting moment with me. <laughs> yeah, you were you were a good basketball player. You just were a little aloof. Yeah, but not not yeah. not yeah, in. Uh, didn't like to play with the other. I didn't people play in school team. though. <laughs> you did no. that like when Danny played for the school. You were there when he had like his like varsity blues moment and almost died and then lived and then went off to like. Yeah, nobody understands that story. Which uh, varsity blues when. Mom, stop calling me. Oh, I thought we were live still. What is Varsity Blues? It's a, it's a movie about football. What, no, I know. Do you remember against Edgemont? I know when that. I was against Edgemont, yeah. and, I, and I, I couldn't feel my, my left leg? Yes. Nobody believes that story. That's a great story. It's an amazing story, and yeah. it's one of the most heroic it's stories amazing. I've ever it heard. It is a very heroic it, it's, story. It's, 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 uh, now it's, that I think back it's a on great it, story. now that I think back on it, though, stop. Very stupid. stupid. Really stupid. Very dumb. Could have yeah. just been paralyzed. Yeah, because you imagine uh, you were experiencing these back spasms through the whole season. Through the whole week, yeah. So every time you had one, everyone got upset except for me who knew you were either making it like, you know, oh my God, yeah, oh my, yeah, yeah. you were getting upset. So I told, I went out to the field. They called me out. I went out to the field. <laughs> And Danny says, I got, I got, I got. I got. And the other coach knew that Danny was beating him. So he said, he has to be taken off the field. And I said, no, he's playing. Because this comes and goes. And the coach looked at me like, are you nuts? Yeah. Danny gets to the sideline, sits down for two plays, and then saw, what's his name, Eric Shea. Oh, Eric Shea was running up. And he goes, I got to go back out there. I got to go play. <laughs> Went back out to win the then game. I, yeah, I could feel my leg a little bit after. And then I dragged it to the end zone a couple times. It and was, that was it. That was one of the most heroic things I think I've ever done, but, and I peaked very early. I haven't done anything really heroic. Oh, since. that was heroic, but but the more beautiful event was when you had to go to your, your sister's wedding, 
and you scored four touchdowns in the first half, ran off the field into a tuxedo and went to the win. Yes, that was pretty dope too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Damn, just that imagine, was cool. Jimmy, just imagine the running off the field, right into the car, right home, put a tuxedo on and go. To now that I think about it too, I probably, if I would have stayed in that game. Eight touchdowns. I probably would have set like a section one record. If I had to go to my sister's stupid <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Something like that. It was, it was, it was, ama- anytime I touched a ball, it was like a 70 yard touchdown. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Granted that, that team wasn't very good, yeah. but that's what you're supposed to do to bad teams. And I beat was, them up. I was, I was, uh, working, covering sports. Not for that game. <laughs> Mike's over here just making noises Mike on the floor. That game. Mike, you were there, right, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Mike's laying down on the floor. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm laughing. Cause Danny's like the proud son. And I'm a fucking idiot who eats hot yeah. gummy bears and almost <laughs> dies <laughs> in my front lawn. Yeah. If this and is then, anything. This is a very good, like a uh, <laughs> metaphor for your life. Yeah. Right? I'm, I mean, yeah. yeah. And you know what? The bright side is his dad got to be here. And like, now we can talk about awesome stuff. Yeah. But like you this. never, yeah, yeah but show. Danny, I you love you. You were athletic, very athletic, but no, no one in this family under the age of two could walk away from the family compound, walk about a mile away in a pamper. And, then, and get lost. And We're looking die. for him, and an old Italian guy brings him back, walks him back oh up my the God. street to the house. And Mike, I, has, that was him. That was yeah. Michael. I don't know this story. And, and Michael, yeah, we we're out working on the yard. Terrible parenting. Huh? Every oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Everybody's working on the yard. How the hell did your baby Listen, get away for a mile? The yard. What was, kind of baby? The is yard this? was fenced in. Everybody's yeah. working on the yard, and Michael was out there, a little wading pool out there. Everybody was having fun. And we turned around for maybe an hour. No, no, it was about five minutes. Five minutes. And Michael found a way out of the yeah. fence in the back of the garage. In a big ass heavy diaper. Walked across a main street. Jeez. Well, you did the, you did the same thing. Yeah, I almost got hit by a bus. Walked across the main street and walked <laughs> away from the house, almost a mile away. So we're looking for him now. He's freaking out. We're going to call the cops, and we see an old guy walking back up the street who knew us and said, "What kind of?" He said exactly what you said. What kind, what kind of, of parents are you? This kid walked down I had the street. Strong in a ass friggin' dad, baby legs. Yeah, Dad, I gotta be honest. That's it's horrible. R- very ratchet. Very ghetto parenting right there. Yeah, it's five children. You can't keep track of any of you. You were horrible. Do you remember um Dad used to get very flustered when he would have to get us ready for the bus? Mike, do you remember that one time we missed the bus and Dad lost it? Uh I think. I don't know if I remember. We were supposed to get on the bus is when we were going uh when I was going to Cahill Gibran, I think he was going to like twenty two or something. Oh, he, he might have been there too. Yeah, he was yeah. there too. And we missed the bus and dad freaked out. But he didn't freak out in like a bad way. You made us go to our room and we didn't come out for like a day. Yeah, because I had to watch you the whole day. How how who's who who is worse as a little kid though? Probably me, I think, right? No, I think you all you all had a different We fed off each other. Annoying, we all, all had a different had a annoying different approach yeah. to being bad. Yeah. All right. Michael Michael intellectualized everything. Yeah, and ran away from never home said, at one. No, smart. Never, never said a thing and then he would act on it. You were in action. Who who spoke first, me or Michael? Age wise. You mean well, obviously he spoke first. No, 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 no. I mean like how old was he when he spoke? Oh. Yeah, Michael was in there early. He was, early? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael. What was my first word? I don't know. Your first word. I mean, you all would dada, you know, yeah. mama, dada. You used to call your older brother, Ja. Ja. So I was like, why is this kid saying Ja? What's his problem? And yeah. then Jared was like, that's me. Yeah. I taught, no, I taught him how to say that. I taught him how to say that. And Michael called him, called his sister Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Kiana. Yeah, he called it Kiki. So it was all you. All, you were all the first words were usually about a sister or a brother or a dog or a cat. I thought yeah. my first name was grass. I thought my first word was grass. I don't remember that. I think mom lied. No, I don't remember. Mom's a liar. I mean, grass is. I need to smoke some. Or yeah. I was like, hey, what's up? I think I thought I said. I thought I said the f word, but I guess I didn't. I thought I said the f. Oh, no, because Jared was probably yeah tutoring you. Yeah. You know, oh, Jared saying a word. It looks like fun. And it's not fun. Ah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> you were bad. But you all were very bad. I, I, I'm just thinking about Michael running away from home with a pamper on. Yeah, some guy finding run. me, some random dude he who's just run. pissed. He didn't run. He walked. I'm talking about pamper, no shirt. Nothing. Yeah, no shoes, probably pamper. nothing. He came back, and this is the best part, was dry as a bone. And all the time he was going, didn't pee, didn't crap. 
Dries the bone to pamper. Dude, what back. was going through your brain, too? You're so dumb when you're one. You're just like, uh, yeah, just like, like oh, I'm going to do this. It's a good idea. Just walking around. Well, you know what it was? We had a we had a cat. There was a cat that Grandma had. And he chased the cat across the street. And the cat would go over there and oh. wander around. So Michael said, hey, go with the cat. I'll go with the cat. He went. Oh, the idiot. guy's face, idiot. though. You had to see the guy's face. He knew the family. So I guess he's like, you know, I thought these people were normal. Yeah. And he goes, what kind of people are you? I don't remember it's the couple, answer. A couple of bad parents, think. The answer was, I think I said to him, too. how many kids do you have? And he goes, well, my kids are older. I like, so he probably forgot. How did I get in the street? Or the, or the bus? With yeah. The bus? yeah, when I almost got hit by a bus. We, we were bringing groceries in the house. Okay. Everybody brought the groceries in the house. Right. It was a long hallway. Kind of sounds like me. So okay. When we did that, we would always close the front door and lock it. So the kids couldn't get yeah. out. Somebody forgot to lock the screen door. So you were playing with a ball. The ball went out the door, down the little hill, into the main street in Yonkers. Okay. I'm talking about traffic street, big time. Okay. And you went and chased the ball. The <laughs> next thing I hear is Jared saying, oh, my God, Danny's in the street. I couldn't move fast. I froze. And Danny, um, Jared just bolted over the railing. He must have been 14, something like that. Over the railing, down the little hill, dove into the street and grabbed you. And the bus that was coming stopped like two feet from you. <laughs> and what does Danny do? He reaches down and gets the ball. Yeah, that's it. Ignores the bus. <laughs> You, you remember that time when you were taking a nap? You, you were taking a nap, and I called the cops. I thought you were dead. It was also really great. So uh, when I was little, my dad was taking a nap, and I tried to wake him up, and he wouldn't wake up. So I called nine one one and said my dad won't wake up. But I knew he wasn't dead. I was just like, he won't wake up and like play with me. So I called the cops on him. But they, they, thought, they, they, they thought, thought you were dead. Yeah, they thought I was I just like, my heart. dad's not playing with me. Like this, dad's sucks. not responding. Yeah, I was like, my dad's not responding. Like he sucks. And then, I then you know, and then they came home. They came to the house. And my first response was, hide. I have to get naked. And hide. And hide. So I got naked and I hid. And a cop came under the bed and dragged me out naked. He said, kid. It's, and he held me well. and held me like this goes, and, get, and, good, talked, and talked to me. No, face you did to good, face. but don't do it again. Yeah. I don't know why I got naked. And I thought he looked I was at naked. me and he said, where were you? I said, I was watching TV and I must have fallen asleep. And my son, we taught them 911. Yeah, that's, that's well, nine one one to you, man. All right, all right. We're, we're gonna play a game called uh, accident or on purpose. You ready? Yeah. Jared, accident or on purpose? On purpose. Michael, accident or on purpose? Michael, on purpose. Danny, accident or on purpose? Uh, it was it was on purpose by accident. <laughs> it was purpose by accident because we didn't have kids for seven years. So I was an accident. You weren't trying. No, to no, have no. Kids. You were not an accident. You, or an accident. Accidents when you don't wear protection or something. Right, That's right, an accident. Right, right, right. Or you do wear protection. Right. No, we had seven years before we, we had any kids. And me and mommy were like, oh, man, should we stay married? Or right. We were going through a lot of stuff. So she said, well, you know, maybe the kids will have another kid. So Michael. <laughs> what an idiot. So we allowed ourselves to have this child. We knew we were going to have That one. was Michael, though. That was Michael. Okay. So, and then she says, well, he's not going to have this kid's brother. by himself here. Jared's already th thinks he's 14. Yeah. So it's like, we think we three kids. She goes, well, you know what? There's, there's one, another one. What's the big deal? Mm. She goes, because I got to get this done. She's mid thirties already. She goes, I don't want to do this forever. So it wasn't, it wasn't an accident, but it wasn't expected as, as that one was. Okay. As Michael All was right. like purposeful. Right. Yours was on purpose. We'll see. Fun. We'll see if we get one and he'll have a friend. I'm guessing I had more fun for you because you had sex I wasn't time. planning yeah. it. Yeah. I wasn't planning. You were just having fun. And then mommy found Kathy. Yeah. Know, your sister, mm -hmm. and um, she needed to, you know, find someone to help her, take care of her, and we adopted her. So, uh, mom was on the show the other day, and she said you have uh, a big, a big one. Um, is that true? She said a big head. No, 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 a big, a big, big, big John, big John. I, I would have to say used to. You used to? Does it get smaller as you grow older? I remember seeing your thing as a kid, and I was like, it "That's the biggest dong I've ever seen." No, no, it gets. <laughs> It's relative. When you're little, you, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. you look down, you look up. You no, but I'm just like, whoa. The only person you see. No, it, it, as you get older, it doesn't, the blood flow is not the same. I'm tr being technical. Oh, you the mean? Blood flow is, that's why people use uh, uh, Viagra as they get older because that helps the blood flow. But, of course, it's not the same. When you're young, well, you're it's tall like completely too. out of control by itself. So, you don't. You're tall, too. And then, uh, so you, it's hard to get all the, probably all the blood from, like, 
all your like long extremities to your to your longer extremity, which is your penis. No, I wish you could control it. That's yeah. all I could say. If something you could control with your brain, that would be cool. I think there is though. I think well, there's obviously a physiological reason. Like as you get older, like your thing is whatever. Yeah, it's blood flow. So, do you like uh, do you, can I ask, a blood flow? Can you know, I ask you a if all your blood goes to that place because you're young and you're virile? Yeah, it gets big. You know, when Engorged, you're older, yeah. when you're older, you, you already know you're like in your sixties, and you yeah. go, "What are we doing here? I'm not wasting that blood. I need it for my heart. Yeah, I gotta. My heart's gonna stop beating if I use it all." Would you say you're you were hornier in your fifties or your sixties? Hornier? Yeah. I don't. I honestly, I, as far as I can see, I don't think I've ever changed. You've been horny your whole life. That's what's up, dog. No, it's not. It's not horny. I just, <laughs> some people are. No, really. Some people are. That's fire. Some people are oriented. That's chill sexuality they they enjoy it they yeah. feel comfortable with it they and some people are not some people are insecure they don't find it there are guys that come home and their wife is like what's the matter honey you don't want to make love right. oh, i'm tired no, i've always found that to be a really great and very inexpensive recreation yeah i think so too it doesn't cost anything no well, well it costs something it's because then you have yeah, kids yeah, like yeah, you and yeah. then it costs yeah then you right. have accidents like me and then it's uh we're expensive <laughs> accidents well so did, no, like, did you have health insurance when you were a kid? And then I'm going to ask you another health question insurance? about your penis. Yeah. My father made good money, so he didn't really need to have health insurance. Paid out of pocket. Is yeah. it like... He had his own business. Was it so, yeah. crazy expensive back then to, to go to the hospital, or no. is that like a new thing? No, it's new. Well, not new, but I'd, I want to say after, into the 60s, it became impossible. Hey, here's a great story. When we were kids, there were five, five of us. Yeah. You get the measles, everybody's getting the measles. You got the measles? Yeah, we got the measles. People don't get that anymore, right? No, because they give you a measles vaccine now, yeah, which yeah, people, yeah. oh, take the vaccine. Guess what? You want to take the measles vaccine. Yeah. Because it's, it can kill you. The measles can kill you, your mother, everybody like else. the polio vaccine. Right? Exactly. Who That's what people polio? say. That's what people say. When, when Who they, wants polio? This is my people are like, oh, I don't want to vaccinate my kids. And then your kids are going to get fucking polio? This is what I want to know. And die when he's three? Good luck. The people that say, well, these vaccines don't work. You would have smallpox. You would have polio. You would have rabies. You'd have every kind of thing in the world. So I understand people are afraid of vaccines and certain, for certain if, reasons. If I knew. Man, it makes no sense to me. For some reason, I felt like we weren't the most vaccinated kids. Were we? Yeah, you were all vaccinated. You had to be to go to school. They, they That's what they it was. Require, yeah, yeah, yeah. They require you to be vaccinated be vaccinated in the old days they give you a polio shot when you were little and you left a little scar yeah yeah but then they develop better i think vaccines then uh, uh, ladies get it with like gardasil with like the hpv one they get like a little thing here it's past me yeah i don't i, I see me. it sometimes on the internet but I, but I know that i know that when we were kids i can remember distinctly our <laughs> our doctor he, he was a polish or czechoslovakians his name was schwartaki we all, we all had to learn to say it because mommy, grandma wanted us to say, Dr. hello, Sh Dr. Schwartaki. So we learned how to say it. We're little kids. We get the measles. Everybody gets it. He comes over to the house and he goes, boys, there were three boys at the time. My sister wasn't there. Pull your pants down. Dr. Schwartaki. If he did today, there'd be arrests. Give me a lollipop so first. Put, yeah. He, he visits the house. He, it was, they come to Making the house. house calls make you drop your pants? They made house calls until, Oops, gotcha. they made house calls until the 70s. So down with the pants, boom, boom, boom with the needle. And then he went like this with something. I'm like, what's he doing? He's putting a medicine on it, right? He took mercuricone like a... Wait, he, put, he gave you a shot in your penis? No, your ass. Oh. Put your pants down. You had to bend over. Shot in the ass, shot in the ass, shot in the ass. The three of us. You, Joe, and Frank. He didn't even ask, does he have it yet? He just gave it to everybody. So he gives my brother, me three. And then he goes like this with a little uh, Q-tip and a thing. I was like, what is he doing? He drew a little smiley face on your ass. Ew, Dr. Schwataki. And he thought it was great. He thought it was the funniest thing. What a thing. weirdo. He thought it was the funniest thing. And he, grandma, would, he would take <laughs> rubbing alcohol and leave a little smiley face a on your He'd be lollipop. But, but we loved it because we were like, look at it. Oh, he drew a face on my butt. Yeah, at the time. He had funny. to put iodine on it, which could burn. So. Right, the yellow stuff. <laughs> and then he would just put a little happy face on your butt cheek. Now that I think about it, so I'm like, could you weird. imagine that today? Can you imagine it's like, oh, I want to How's call my doctor? lawyer. Oh, it was good. I'm calling my lawyer. Yeah. This guy just put a, a happy who, face who on Who was our head. doctor? We had, I had like a pediatrician until I was like 26 years old. Dr. He, Fisher? Uh, No, no, no. I'll think for the second. He was, yeah, he, he had all you kids. He, he lived over, he worked over Sounds, there on Central, Central Avenue. Avenue. Dr. Yeah. Fisher? He had all of you. It wasn't <laughs> Fisher, right? No, not Fisher. It started with an S. Dr. Sh Schweitzer? It was like Schweitzer, but that's right. 
He was very funny to me. Yeah, yeah, he was a cool he was guy. A funny guy. I remember though, like I would go to him and I was twenty three years old and kind I'd be very sitting, like heavy and stocky. He was yeah, funny I'd be sitting next to like seven year olds and just be like, Danny, I'm like, yeah, what's up? He'd always look at me like, don't you know what birth control is? There's all these kids. Yeah, you know, yeah, doctor, doctor. Sh- I'll think of it, Mike. It'll hit me in the head. Hey, Mike, you okay? <laughs> you all right? What was our doctor's name when we were a kid? Doctor, remember his name? Doctor Fisher. It was no, Doctor Fisher, Fisher right? with an S. It started with an S. Yeah, Mike's naked, taking a poop uh, on the toilet. I honestly don't know. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of <sighs> I got to call mom. She'll Schne- know. Schneider. Yeah, call him. Call him. I honestly think it's Dr. Fisher. No. I tell you, it's not Dr. Fisher. Dr. Schweitzer? No, it was, it was close. Dr. Sheffer. Chef, Schiffer. Schiffer. Dr. Dr. Schiffer. Schiffer. Yeah, yeah. It was like, nice, it was nice, like nice. Schweitzer. Yeah, it was Dr. Oh, Schiffer. It was, Dr. Schiffer. It was close. Nice Jewish, Jewish gentleman. Um, his daughter worked for him. His wife worked for him. Yeah, there was a whole thing. I remember one time I was 22 years old and there was a seven-year-old there. Cause I got a tuberculosis shot and I had to like, for a job, I needed someone to be like, Oh, he doesn't have tuberculosis. Mm-hmm. And there were seven year olds in there and he had like a, f- a fire engine that I sat on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, they, 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 they stay there until you go to an older doctor. When you get older. Yeah. I don't understand. Pediatricians go all the way up. To- Can you have a pediatrician until you're 30? I would Not always 30, just go to a kid's doctor. Females go to the pediatrician until they start going to the gynecologist. Yeah. That's how that works for men. They go until their mother tells them stop going to that guy. What's the worst pain you've ever had in your life? Worst pain? Yeah. You remember when well, that remember when that I ruptured window? my Achilles tendon? At first, did that hurt? At first, it didn't feel a thing. You felt like someone it kicked trauma. you. Trauma. Right? It was trauma. Yeah, it felt like someone kicked me in the in the ankle. And then oh. when I, about an hour later, when the ankle was hanging like this, oh, I, I took like six Tylenols. Yeah, and I was trying to. I was trying to get your mother to believe that I didn't have to go to the hospital. hospital. You had a hole back there, probably, right? You could put your finger in there oh. where, the, where the tendon was. You know, with a little. So, my, thankfully, your mother worked for an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. convenient is that? And he was in his 80s. He used to do the Jets, Giants, you know, football yeah. teams. Paul Newman. He had all of these great. He did, he did Paul Newman's? Yeah, Achilles? He, was, he was like a top guy. Top guy. Cool hand, Luke's killing. So a day goes by, and she says, "You better come into my office in the city on Fifth Avenue and let the doctor look at it." I said, "No, it's going to be fine. I'll wrap it up. It's going to be fine." And I was in pain. I was like tearing. Yeah, I was just tears were coming down. She, what's the matter? Oh, I was just tired. So I went there, and the doctor sits me down. He goes, "Your wife says you might have torn something." I said, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know." I said, "Look," he puts his finger oh. in it, and he goes like this inside the tent, and he goes, "Are you kidding me?" Is there something wrong with you? It ripped up like a ribbon. He goes, you t- it's like tissue paper. It tore. The whole thing ruptured. The surgery was more painful than the, the injury? Yeah. The surgery Most was surgery. Yeah, it was painful. Because you have to rehab. It's in a cast first for like 12 weeks. How far up was the cast? The cast was to my knee. Really? It goes that high? Yeah. The cast all the way. Oh, because it has to stay this and way. And it had a boot. It had a boot. Because he knew I was going to walk. He said, this guy's going to walk. Yeah, I could t- I could see it happening. So he's, I would have put a boot, That's and I, just, I was at the time was selling real estate. So I was walking around, hobbling around. And Michael, mommy was like pregnant, another month to go or two months. Yeah. So I had to drive to the hospital with the cast on and a stick shift. Walk into the hospital. The guy goes, "Come in, come in." I said, "No, it's her. She goes, your mother, my wife's having a baby." Do you remember what your White Castle order was when I was being born? You were. I there? got six cheeseburgers. For you? Yeah, it's a good amount. It's a little. Yeah. How many White Castle do you think you could eat? I've I have eaten fourteen. You've eaten fourteen White Castle. I think I've eaten, I think my records around there. Yeah, like 14, 14, 15 and, I, and that's only because I ran out of money, not because I couldn't eat it. Yeah. When you were young, we used to come home three o'clock in the morning for a concert or something, and coming through the Bronx on the way to Yonkers from wherever. White Castle South, on South Broadway, yeah. White Castle, no, Fordham Road. Fordham Road. There was. One, there is there one was, on South Broadway. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't one then. There were very few, so yeah. we, we stopped. You know, you know, I didn't drink, but my brothers. No, yeah, they were like stoned. I was the designated driver and a designated White Castle guy. So you go into White Castle, I don't know if you know this, it's true, you can test it. If you go at 3 o'clock in the morning, there's a line. Oh, yeah. I'm like six people. If you go at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, there's a line of six people. Because the staff, they have more people. But I never took that into consideration. I'd always go 3 o'clock in the morning and say, what the hell are all these people doing here? Yeah. Some of them were homeless, just hanging out in the place. White Castle's kind of a, a late night spot. Yeah, you know, that's like you it was know. open twenty four hours in those days. White Castle's the best. How much was a slice of pizza when you were a kid? Slice of pizza, two slices, and a Coke 
a dollar. Jeez. Did Imagine. I say that right? Two slices and a Coke, a dollar. Two slices and a Coke, a dollar. Two slices for a dollar. And a co- <laughs> it's been a long time since I had seen Mike on the toilet. Yeah, I know. Now, yeah. Two slices so and a Coke, We got to get him a diaper. A we got to get him a diaper so he can walk around the apartment. <laughs> that was, and I remember. <laughs> get lost in his diaper. You know how something, you know how you know something, you know how you know something's a good deal when you're like a kid and you still remember it at the time saying, two slices and a Coke for a dollar? It's crazy. Are you kidding me? Can I have two slices of Coke for a dollar? It's That's impossible now. It's amazing. Not even a dollar pizza. That's the cheapest pizza you can get. It's $1 pizza. for the pizza. Yeah, it's three bucks for the pizza and a dollar twenty-five for the soda. Probably four twenty-five. That's that's four five four hundred twenty-five percent inflation. Yeah, six right bucks. There. What about Yankee tickets? Dollar fifty. Reserved. What does that mean? It was seventy-five cents for the bleachers. Oh, seventy-five cents for the bleachers. And we were Imagine. like, we were like, let's pay a dollar fifty. I was working. Up, upper deck. Yeah. But reserved seats, a dollar fifty. How much was like behind the dugout back then? Like thirty dollars. I I think I think well behind right behind the dugout I think it cost you twenty five bucks. <laughs> it's like two thousand dollars. Twenty five dollars. I used to tell my father, hey, Dad, let's go to the Yankee game and get behind us the plate. He goes, How much are they? I said they're twenty five dollars. He goes, They're not twenty five dollars. I said, They're twenty five dollars. He goes, They're not twenty five dollars. I said they are. He goes, I got four kids. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah. It's not twenty five dollars. Yeah. Can't you count? Now that's, you know what? You never really think about that as a parent, like going out to dinner, you just get hosed. Oh, it's bad. You just get hosed. Going to movies, it's hosed. Bad. But listen how it's changed. Listen how it's changed. I got some grandchildren. I'm not going to mention their names. I have one kid too. I'm not going to mention her name and it's not Kiana. Who, when they went to, went to a restaurant, uh, I'll take the lobster uh, uh, give me that shrimp sh- sh- scampi. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do. I always get the you're cheapest. You're very good. Yeah, I get the cheapest. You're always been good. I get the He's cheapest good. thing on the menu. He's good, Jared. Now, well, now Jared's you know big time. Yeah, yeah. Restaurant. Yeah. He, doesn't, he don't eat anything cheap. No, nah, no, he doesn't eat cheap. But certain girls like to order the here. That's look a girl at the menu. That's a girl move. Look at the menu. Eighteen dollars for like a lobster. And meanwhile, everybody's like six ninety nine. The hamburger deluxe. Whatever. Yeah. Some some certain people. So I've got grandchildren now that not only do that, but they go, um, do you have the uh, non-gluten? Yeah. Uh, can you bring that without mashed potatoes? Uh, can you on the side, can you put like a broccoli instead? Of, you don't have it's that other much. thing? Can I order that a la carte? Yeah. Uh, too much. Can, then if you can, without well, the surf and turf, that, that steak, what is that, a filet mignon? Or is that like a New York cut? The kid is six, seven years old. Yeah. You know who she is. Yeah. And I was like, girl. And she goes, and for dessert. Before the thing is even there, hosing you. That's it. Yeah, see, that's the that's the worst that's thing the about having money. that's the worst thing about having children. I think is the money thing. It's expensive. Why do people want to do that to themselves? It seems like the thing to do. I think I think as people now <laughs> it it's gonna, like, now now it's going to get seems deep. right now it's going to get deep. I think as people that's our only that's our only business on this planet is to, is to make children and be family members. Again, is it not the only free? Recreation. It is. It is. Depending is on why. De- depending. How depending. you ever believe in creation or creator or, or plan, however planned it, made it so a male would want to do that. Right. Now, if that was painful or like childbirth. If, you, if you're cis. If you're if cis. Childbirth yeah, yeah. is painful. Right. Women have to go through childbirth. Yeah, but they want to do it. Yeah, but if a man had to do that, there would never be any children. No way. It's like, I'm not really need to do that well do we have as men would we have the vaginas or just our penis no you'd have a in other words if a man had to be the woman okay right a male i'm not doing do it that. no if i have the same genetic like makeup i'm not having a kid i don't want to no. do that to my vagina no i know i know men that ruin my vagina i know men that go to the bathroom after they eat hot g- Gummy gummies bears. who are in pain yeah i saw i saw my jared was born at home you saw him come out I was there. I had to do it. Oh, disgusting. And your mom, I, and at that time, she loved me. You know, we're only married like a year and a half, too, so she really loved me still. You know, she didn't know anything yeah, yeah. bad about me. So she goes, I love you so much, honey. I love you so much. I hate you. What did you do this to me for? She she went like stereotypical, like, fuck she you. Wasn't really, no, she wasn't really at, like personally at me, but she was not happy with anything. Like if I said, oh, you'll be fine. Oh. And she had a kid already. What's she complaining about? It's, she, she knew what the like rodeo it. was. She didn't like it the first time either. She, it's It's painful. Very painful. I heard I wasn't painful. And listen, I was very slippery. And medications don't work; didn't work very well on her. 
they would give her like a you know, saddle block or, a, a, you know, they give you the spinal, yeah. whatever they call it. Nothing. It's disgusting. No effect. It's disgusting and very painful. Some women, it's just a breeze. <sighs> Quickly, easily. Mom did it four times. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She was good. She was very good. She carried the <laughs> The thing is, mom likes to eat. Mm-hmm. So when you're pregnant, you get to eat whatever the hell you want to eat. Yeah. She was, enjoyed that. She, mommy does like food. Mommy likes food. I, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like food? Everybody does. But yeah, you know, I think now that like... Every, the occasional anorexic. That they don't like food. Yeah, yeah. They don't like food at all. Well, they do. They just don't want to eat it. Well, it's a bad cycle. Yeah. So it becomes like a... Dad, Dad with the anorexia joke. No, well, I'm not, I'm not enjoying this. No, yeah. You know, that's, it'd be tough to enjoy. No, no, It's no. like, I'm not, I have never been a drug user. I'm not an alcohol yeah. user. The times I have gotten drunk and thrown up, I can't imagine how someone would want to do that a lot. Yeah, but didn't the first time you get drunk, you were like 53 years old and you're like mad at us? No, I was, no, I was, <laughs> the first time I got drunk, I was with my brother, but I got, I wouldn't say it's, I got, I was like high. Did you black out? You browned out? Three, four beers. No, three or four beers. I had, I was 16. So oh yeah, I you're buzzing pretty nice. So, yeah, so I was like, this is, this feels pretty good. But I also felt like I, I, I couldn't, didn't have any control of what was going on. And my brother was laughing at me, so I said, I can't have this. Yeah. yeah. If I do this again. I'm, I'm have, have you ever blacked out? Alcohol? Yeah. No. Damn, dude. No, no way. You're missing out, dude. No, I threw up because I would like mix drinks. And just, bah, yeah, I have yeah, something yeah. to drink. So I'm going to mix. I, I forget what it was. Fruit punch with gin or something. I forget what it was. Guys, the guys drink at your Christian college? No, right? No. What did what, you guys do for They parties? went off campus to drink. What'd you guys do for parties? Prayed? No. A lot of eating, man. We used to barbecue indoors. That was always cool. That seems illegal. It wasn't too smart. No. Because eventually, the, the, the smoke's not going. No. Not going. And, not like, and, that the was like that, and that was like that engineered coal and shit. Not leaving the dorm. We always thought open the windows and the smoke goes straight up. So these dorms, <laughs> down, in the, down in the lobby, the dorm, straight up. Eventually, eh, smoke alarms. Did you have to go to church at school? Every day. Every day you had to go to church? At chapel. You go every morning. Chapel. Did with you have a to, suit on. And with, a tie. Oh, that sounds terrible. No, it was Catholic school. So that's what they did. Yeah, but you have to put a suit on in the morning? If it was like 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm, I'm down for it. Like, I'll go get my chap on. No, was, Catholic schools do it. Yeah, but they get Kids to wear... The, yeah, but they get, yeah, but they get to wear like the same thing every day. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's like, oh, like I got to go go to this barbecue. No, if you it, barbecue it, too much, your suit's ruined. The idea there was to always be looking, you know... Be respective, respectful of God and respectful of the format. And then it changed. Yeah, it's yeah, changed yeah. over the years. People, people got rid of a lot of God, formality. God, is it a dude or is it a woman? Not a dude. Not a dude, right? I don't think, it, I don't think a dude can understand possible. this. Not possible. Because how can he give birth? He doesn't have a well, vagina. It's just not possible. It's not, if God, again, if God were a male person. It's like a chicken or the egg type of thing, right? Although there are traits that they describe that seem like that, vengeful and you know God is powerful and vengeful and is going to you know give you is going to retribution those things that God my my personal belief is that these ideas of God that that have been humanized yeah you know they say God we're made in His image I think people make God into their image they they make God what they think they want Him to be yeah sometimes good sometimes not so good but if if that weren't true, how could we have God killing people off? How could we have Christians killing Muslims, Jews killing? God wouldn't do that. No. A, God, a God of love wouldn't do it. So I, I, I just am a believer. That's a spirit. Right. I'm, I'm with you there. We have a spirit, and that spirit is everything. It's, yeah. It's all the goodness. It's all encompassing. You see flowers. Because people will be like, oh, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, science. Like, oh, God. I was like, maybe God created science. Well, obviously he did. You know, somebody. Got me with this see, one. See, we said he. Someone got me this. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, you know. It's just figure it, of speech, guys. So uh, obviously, the, the creative force that that has put things into motions, whether it was Big Bang, whether it was a spirit, whatever. If you look out every day, you'll see beauty. You see love. You see goodness. You see creative. You see beautiful music, beautiful art. And then you see destructive on this side. So mm-hmm. that's God is a good Evil is the other side. And you get to choose every day. We all get to choose how much of our day is going to be good. Right. And how much of it is going to be evil. But the thing is, like, the I feel bad for kids that go to, like, Catholic school and they're like, well, like, and they think, like, like the Bible's, like, like that stuff, like, really happened. 
like uh like stories yeah they're just like tales to like build your a lot of them are like wait this is this didn't really happen we tell stories you're a pod podcast yeah you tell stories and people go that can't is that true you you are building it's like comedians comedians tell story never happened you're life. building an allegory yeah an idea when people tell tell someone they love them how do they tell them they love them i love you like this mm -hmm. i love you see the sunset see the it, it's an image of something so when when these people wrote the bible or the quran or whatever they wrote they implied that they were interpreting an idea of right. what they believed to be. Yeah. So the stories were handed down. People would tell a story. You know, Adam and Eve, ever hear, remember him? Adam and Eve? You remember Moses, when he came over the thing? Right. And a lot of it's, some of it's historical, and some of it is just built on these allegories, stories, ideas. I think some of it's historical. I, I could believe that Jesus was a historical person. I think real I think Jesus was a real person. Do yeah, I think he was a little wackadoo? Probably. Well, I, it's the interpretation of who he was. You right. Know, the Bible was written by people that had an idea of what they wanted to tell right. you. And then also a lot of things get lost in translation. Exactly what happens. Yeah. They get lost in translation. Because yeah. if you see Jesus, that story of Jesus, and then see what people say is Christianity today, it doesn't line up so good. No. Jesus said, give everything to the poor. And then everyone's Jesus like, said, love everybody. Well, I don't see that. But Jesus like kind of hung out with like kind of a hot crowd. You know what I mean? He hung out with like prostitutes and like people of the night. That's yeah. exactly what he did. And they Jesus, accepted. Jesus, if anything, Jesus sounded like a good and, time. To and me. why did they accept him? Because they could see that he was different. He had love for them, whereas the rest of the people were trying to put them down. Prostitutes were being stoned. If you weren't, uh, if you were a Jew living with uh, with uh, in, the, in the environment where the Romans were, they squashed you. Right. They saw this man who cared about everybody. Why wouldn't you be attracted to that? Can we talk about how Joseph was definitely the biggest cuck in the history of cucks? Who? Right? Uh, Joseph. He was, kind, he was kind of a cuck. If, if this story is Imagine true. if your wife came up to you and said, oh, imagine if mommy came to you. Oh, Danny. Oh, an angel came down and I'm pregnant now. Yeah. You going to believe that? Well, that, that just makes me think. <laughs> no. That's just, hell no. That just makes like, me. Yeah, well, he could pay your rent. That just makes me think that he was a really good. Good man. That's what I'm saying. Who loved the woman and said, I'll accept this, even that's though I what, might not understand it. That's what so I much, think. I'm going to accept it. That's what I think. And then maybe he did. You know, everybody was looking for a Messiah at the time. Maybe he said, you know what? This could be it. I could have the woman that's having the Messiah. That's did, a good thing for we, me. So in the Bible, right? Uh, Jesus disappears and then he comes back. Have they ever like talked right. about what happened in that time where he was gone? There was, well, in the Bible, they do. I know, but like, has there been like any more like that stuff? Like, did they ever discover more of like where he was at at that time? Is he in Jerusalem? He stayed in that area. He he had appearances in different places. Yeah, and people saw him in different. Ways. And then and then the description is that he was in the spirit form then, so he would just pop up. Ah, uh, group of people and say, they, 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 "They can't be him," and then he would show them his hands. You know, that's. It's a beautiful story right? yeah. when you think about it. If that if, if that story is even a little bit true, it's kind of dope. It's why it lasted this long. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a great. It's hopeful to yeah. believe that somebody loves you that much that they'll do that for you. I just feel like people are very quick to be like, uh, like, like, uh, and religion is the reason they're. I mean, a lot of so many people have died over religion, yeah, right? Of course, but you know, those are extremists, though. Well, it's politics. It's politics too. Church is politics. Business is politics. You know, mob is politics. I never understood. Gangsters I never, are politics. Yeah, but I never understood like how it's like uh, separation of church and state, right? But then we have money that's federal money that says in God we trust. Isn't that weird? Well, it's because it's not true. There is no separation of church and state. The, the only place that the separation of church and state are places where it's actually been designated, like in uh, uh, like Ur well, uh, Uruguay. I think yeah, it's Uruguay. You can't have any religion. There's no religion associated. Really? With it. I mean, you can have your own little religion. Right, yeah. Right. But they don't allow religion to be, uh, you know, interpreted into power. Right. You know, so if you have a religion, go stay over there. Don't put it in. But most governments are religion based in some. Yeah. Uh, even uh, communism is a religion of a sort. Right. So the Chinese have their religious do you, ideas. Do you think there'll ever be a Jewish president? Yeah, why not? I think there'll be a Jewish president. Yeah. yeah. One of them's got a slap. Yeah, we're going. Yeah. Uh, we're going. There. Yeah, we're going. We're gonna I, get. I there. go for uh, Sarah Silverman. I think uh, we'll, Sarah Silverman will be I think, president. I think we'll have a woman president before we have a Jewish president. But most likely, the Jewish president will be a woman because yeah, yeah, it'll be more whammy. acceptable to a lot of some kinds of people. 
you, do, you, do you ever watch the show Veep? Oh yeah, it was how good how, how good is that show? It's hysterical. This show. She is so hot. Very, re- <laughs> very Julia very Louis rich, Dreyfus. Very wealthy. Very wealthy and very hot. Like very wealthy she, family. You want to? Yeah, she's been rich her whole life. Well, the Dreyfus. Yeah, yeah, that whole family. Is she related to Richard Dreyfus? No, he's just the one off Dreyfus. Well, she might be cousin. Yeah, family. but the Dreyfus Great family actor. is very banking family in France. Yeah. So she's very, they're very wealthy people. Because I remember watching. But she's hysterical. That woman, everything she does. But politics, I feel fun. like, are like that, though. They are like that. Like, as not, like, turned up to 10, no, but they talk, they talk so much shit. Oh, they are like that. Like, it's they're incredibly like, racist. Oh, no. They're incredibly, like, uh, you know, very fake. You have to be a very fake person to See, be a politician, it, right? In order to be, look, I, I've been asked by people, oh, you know, you should run, you love, you should run for politics. I would kill somebody. Yeah. I couldn't do it because I'm going to tell the truth. If someone said to me, "I'm going to give you money, you got to do it," I, I'm like, I just can't do that. No, you, you can't. You can't be a politician, and then you have to be a complete narcissist. You have yeah. to believe that you're that great that you can control the world. Even like Obama, who I love, Obama. Yeah, he got to be pretty arrogant to think I'm the guy who's going gonna to save the entire world. Yeah, just to even think that you can do that, and he found out you can't. Yeah, now, Joe Biden is the complete opposite. He doesn't think he can save the world. He thinks he can like, kind of like maneuver it. Yeah. The yeah. guy before him, I don't think he knows where the he guy is before that, so. him was really like that. I, I'm, I'm the guy. Yeah. I can save the world. If you listen to me, I'll save the world. I'll save the religion. I'll save Christmas. He believed he's going to save everything. I can, I'll even save the Muslims from themselves. That's how, <laughs> yeah. that's how long. long and then, and then he would play cl- uh, catch with Mariano Rivera. I didn't even know what this is. On the lawn. Um, do you think by. Mike, you okay? Yeah. Mike, are you dead? <laughs> Mike's in the bathroom. It's relaxing. Thankfully, you stayed and did the show with me because we wouldn't have been able to do it. Oh, he looks ready to go back. No, oh, laying on the floor. You, he's out of the bathroom now. I'm Mike, just, welcome I'm, back. I was in the. I was just sitting on the toilet listening to you guys for like three hours and however long that's been. Well, Mike, we're talking Ma- about religion. Mike so. is proving know, tonight yeah, that yeah, if, if he didn't believe guy, in God before, he does now because yeah. he was. Like, I'm telling you oh, what. God, I'm I'll telling be. you what. After that experience tonight, I'm definitely going to be more religious. I think I almost saw God's face. <laughs> To see God in that, and we toilet. find out we find yeah. out that the way to see God is to eat a gummy. I just felt so bad. Eat a gummy. Danny was so fu- so worried. Yeah, yeah, he looked concerned. No, I turned the camera off again. Like I, I said, mean, I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to like sell this. Like I don't want this to be like, oh yeah, this is funny. I'm like, dude, you should figure out your health. <laughs> I'm waiting to see the promo for this. Oh, it'll be there. The problem the was no legit. I should have had milk. I didn't do milk, so my fucking stomach. Started getting all weird. Yes, you're supposed to have the milk me. before. Yeah, yeah. Coach but your stomach. Either way, I mean, listen, I'm okay, and it was worth for all of our for all of our patrons. But I'm definitely never going to eat anything toxically hot like that ever again. That's for sure. Yeah, I think you. That's, I think I, at I think 34, age, I should not be doing things like no. that. Once you once you hit a certain age, right? Your body doesn't. Oh, if I was in my twenties, I would have ate that yeah. thing, and my and yeah. that thing would have had. Dude, I would have seen God. Yeah. I would have <laughs> ate that thing and shotgunned the beer with it and been fine. Yeah, and been yeah. and yeah. and like woke up the, for seconds the next the day. Guy, that's the guy that had like gave oral sex for the first time, who said that's the same thing. He goes, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if I should eat that, but guess what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. I liked it. I almost suffocated. I sucked dicks and how, I how, liked how, it. How far back does Oral go? Was that around the 50s? Uh, 50s? You know, I, Adam and Dude, Eve that goes back to like Oral yeah, part Adam and, during right. like ancient so Egyptian times. Now, now, yeah, now, so can we also talk about another thing though? Ancient Romans, kind of gay. Yeah, but that's there's nothing wrong with that. No, 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 no. It's perfectly fine. But like, well, what, what the fine? They were so, oh, they, no. they Who were, cares? No, because they were so anti. They were like anti gay. Well, remember? Oh, but they, no, but they no, would, but no, they would no. like, but they would like do gay stuff. No, they were, you know why? I don't. I don't. All the, I know is that. The, that sounds a lot that like defined. politicians right now who lie, who lie about not giving gay people rights, but then bang dudes. Well, that's of what course. I'm saying. Of course, a lot yeah. of them do that. So the, it's a, yeah. The the thing that has really defined sexuality forever is religion and culture. Yeah, it's always like it's always like held in a corner. Yeah. You know? And of course what you feel. I mean, you can't tell someone it's okay to have sex with guys if they don't feel like they want to. No, that's what they did though. They they did it did some no, weird they, s- well the sodomized. I don't know the exact history of it, but in, in Greek culture, the male, older males would teach the younger males 
whether it's philosophy or science or whatever, and then they would also engage in teaching them sexuality. Sounds and like that assault, meant. brother. Yeah, well, wasn't yeah, wasn't no, like Michael. So, <laughs> so, so it was part of supposedly. Wasn't like Michael right, right. Michelangelo was like one of the. Or yeah, was it like Leonardo it da Vinci who did that oh, shit you try, too? You try all of these experiences. Oh. And then, also, know. what we were talking about before, uh, music in the sixties. Yeah, kind of statutory. They made a lot of songs about like 15, 16 year old girls. Oh yeah. All of them. All of the songs were like When that. was like Clive Davis like, hey, let's switch out to 18? I don't think they ever did that. Yeah, I don't know. What I a mean, horrible business. Every every group from starting with from Frank, you know, every, all of these once once music became right like that, descriptive. It was all about older guys. <laughs> young girls that yeah. followed them around. That's what it was. Well, I remember when I uh, we used to listen to the Beatles in your car. She's like, she was just 17. And they said 17 because they didn't want to get arrested. I mean. And then I was like, no, I don't know what you mean, Paul no, McCartney. No. What, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> well, they were. Tw- well, what are you talking about, Those guys sir? were 21. Right. So 17 was like that. Yeah, yeah I guess that's kind of true. They're, they're like older. Well, seven, they're, they're 17, like 17 in the 60s was like 37. Yeah, but, we do, but dad's well, right. Well, we got to remember, the they rock, weren't like 35. No, all you know the rock I mean? and rollers, they were all 20, 21, 22. And all the girls that were chasing around were 14. Oh, so my God. What's, what was going to happen there? Something, <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. something was going to happen. Oh, uh, Axel Rose. It's, it's like, yeah, 15. It was, but I will give women credit. You never really hear of women like Aretha Franklin or Lady Gaga or whatever abusing young boys. Yeah. They don't see yeah, their love, the love, the love of a woman song from most of the I've known, unless it's like fucking Cardi B. Like, I was, hurt, um, it's know? like it's always like something really nice and just about love and stuff like that. Oh, or the heartbreak guys, heartbreak. like Adele, you know. But actually, the there's heartbreak. actually a old woman singer back in the day who did blues and dad oh, no yeah. joke it's like come on oh, yeah, and get yeah, yeah, this yeah. pussy oh, no. tonight oh, yeah. yeah i know that lady <laughs> no, there were, there were. <laughs> she's awesome but she's great yeah, well, she's, she's cool. like the first cardi yeah well, or well, first like little kim and stuff the music was obviously had sexual tones oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah and yeah. then it, in those days it was more like i'll give you an example uh, it's like i want to hold your hand it was a sex song the, the songs like we, in Dewey Cox is like I heard those disgusting lyrics the songs yeah. you know, the words were making love and it's making about holding wh- hands there was a, a song in the tw- 30s making whoopee this, Eddie Cantor had a song making whoopee yeah so and you that, know and that, what it means that's that's hardcore sex yeah, yeah. that's what it was but but now we yeah. actually now Cardi B says actually describes yeah whoopee. yeah they're like why why walk around why walk, uh why uh dance around it when we can just get straight to the to the you know the nitty gritty. It's just sensibilities. I I'm I'm a romantic. I would like it to like in a movie. I, I don't even need. What's your love language? What's what? What's your love language? Oh my god! Explain, explain love languages to Dad, Michael. Love, love language is like words of affirmation, giving, gifting, uh, touch. I forgot the other fucking two. Wow! I think there's five love languages, Dad. I'll look it up. So are you We're like Dad? Find out what like, Dad's love Dad, what's your is? idea of like? So here you go. What's your idea of love? Like, do you want to he- like? Do, are you a gift guy? Would you rather hear or are you touch mostly? Oh, okay. Close by. That's love language. I got t- I I like I like touch. Okay. But and what? But what's the biggest one for you? Like what? What? Like what's? What's mom's way of showing you that she loves you the most? Like they, they, that you're that you're happy with. Look, what makes you the happiest? Are you a gift guy or are you touch guy or? I'm a touch guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. There you go. Mom might be. Mom gift. loves to give gifts. Mom's a gift. Yeah, I'm, a, mom's I'm a gifter. Probably a gift I'm a gifter. You'll have the most romantic thing for your mom is to give me like pants, right. socks, underwear, yeah. uh, right, right, uh, batteries. I'm a know, mixture of like both, but I would say I'm more of a giver. Yeah, gift guy. So it says quality time, affirmation, physical touch, acts of service. Thank That's you for me. service, Dad. That's me. And receiving gifts. That's I think me. I think that your is acts of service. Yeah, cook for I cook for your mom. I, every woman I've ever known, I had to cook for them or do something for them to make them feel as though I cared about them. Right. I think mine's probably That's, more physical, <laughs> physical or oh. or or service stuff. Yeah, but physical I'm a service follows, boy. doesn't it? I'm definitely a service boy. Doesn't physical follow the service? When you do that for someone, they, then they um, respond. No, but I think services is more like... Touch is like literally like... Yeah. You know? Yeah. A little rub of the face. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. The cheek. That was nice, right? Oh, I like that. Too. Access, yeah, I don't know what... Access service sounds like something you do when you go to war. kind of sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salute your wife Well, you because leave. I was brought up in a very religious four years household, of <laughs> we were taught you didn't have sex till you got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very much always on my mind that 
I can't wait till I get married because I'm going to get to have sex. No, but that's, you had sex before you were married, Dad. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it, that's as up. I was growing up, Hell yeah. everybody else had given that up pretty quickly. In but, my Dad, church. you didn't have a baby out of wedlock, right? Yeah, kind of. Did I? Yeah. What do you mean? No, I'm asking if you did. In my life? Yes. No. Jared was after you were married? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, they got married. Mom was the one that had a baby. <laughs> no, I got, I, we got married in January of 79. And Jared was born in April of 1980. So it was like, April of 1980. It was like, so it was pretty close. It was 12 months later. Right, but it, but it wouldn't be a bad thing. Hold up. Let's do this math. Hold up. Was mom pregnant? No, that's not how that works. No, she got pregnant in June. So she's going to have him in April. That's nine months. I love yeah, how dad's right. talking right. about all it right. like, he, remember, like we were there. I remember like we know. It, Dad remembers, I think, every I sexual count. contest. No, I know you had. remember, but we weren't freaking there. We were in the galaxy no, drifting never... around. I was in your balls before, dude. I came out of your penis, dog. Look, my sex- so did he. You my- had two people in this room have come out of your penis, dude, brother. That's uh, crazy. I washed thoroughly. No, but think, <laughs> think, think about that. You think about I'm that. Not, I'm not a pee pee guy. If you like really that. think about it, first of all, we're all winners. I think about we it. had to beat millions of other sperm yeah. to to just get there, dog. Just to get yeah. to the dance. And our dad is in here literally with two things that he created from his penis vagina. There you go. You're welcome. That's dope. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. And we we didn't leave the house till super late, but oh, so I get uh, <laughs> just so I can I can give you the just the idea of it how unusual it was. Yeah. In the sixties and seventies, early sixties and seventies, guys were having sex 13, 12, 13, 14, whatever. Everyone it's tight. and they would tell me, Oh man, you didn't have sex with anybody else. I said, Who am I gonna have sex with? I don't believe in that. You get married first. So a girl came up yeah, to me in high school. A girl girls would come up to me in high school and go, We heard you're a virgin. Oh, was like, if I'd have thought it. of it at the time, how great a thing that would have, what idea that would have been. Because all these girls were like, let's get him to have sex. Yeah. This is, he's a good looking guy. He's like, we like Danny. Let's get this guy to have sex. And it was like a contest. That's so like dazed and confused. It was like a contest. No, it's reminded well, me of this one girl saying, yeah, it's, it's very grease. I remember this one girl saying to me, you know, it's okay. You know, everybody else has sex. I said, well, how many people do you have sex with? She goes, well, I've had sex with three or four guys. So I said, well, I don't know if, I don't know if I want to be like, the next the guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, I would prefer if we were... Be in love. Dead. Yeah, if you like... Exchange, so she, so she exchange goes, I'm not that. Talking about, talking about the fact you haven't had sex. You're 17. So now 18, 19, 20, 21. I was 22. Damn, dog. I was 13. No, I thought you were 15. 22. No, I was 13 years old, dude. Oh. I was in eighth grade. 22. So can you imagine at that time, it was like... Good for you. Well... No, I'm not even joking. It I, think, I think that's very it was, nice. It wasn't difficult for me because my mind was set in a different place. Yeah. I had a different idea of what women were like. Women that were like, oh, you know, I don't, I'm not, I would date a lot of girls that were, you know, church girls. Mm-hmm. So they were, they were like, they're not putting into out bed. Any, Yeah. And I stayed away from what I knew where girls were like, come on, Danny, yeah, come on. So I can go sex, tell everybody how sex with So yeah. 22, I was not really even prepared because the girl that I did meet then was way more advanced than me. She had been through a lot of things in her oh, life. Damn. You know, she had been assaulted. She had had problem, all kinds of things. Yeah. And I felt such compassion for her. I said, man, this girl had to go through all of this with men in her life and her family, different people. And I said, you know, she was in church. And I said, I said I'm going to, this might be the girl I marry someday. But she was much more advanced than me. Rock she knew, world. she knew that it would be easier to right. keep me if she offered this. Uh, I, okay. I resisted it for a little while, but then it was hard to resist. And it was not that it was a bad thing. It's just that I wish it had been a different mindset. Well, the thing, people are having sex a lot. Because when you were 15 years old, you were in like the plumber's union in like the 60s. Yeah. But it's like you, either, you, either, mature. you either got a job or like went to the, to war. Yeah, but I was unusual. I will have to say. I've asked guys, that every guy that I knew, and every one of them said, oh, no, I was like 15. I was 16. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was sure. there's no, a 10, lot of people that I late. know that say 15 or 16. These guys were in church. I man. was and late too. I, I, I mean, well, whatever. I was like... 17, 18, I think. Yeah, I was, I was like 18. I was very unusual, especially in the hippie that crew. Right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You were kind of like a hippie, though. Like, hippies, yeah. like, you didn't get stoned, but you were hippie, yeah. and they have there you go. hippie sex. Hey, I used to go to parties where people were getting stoned. Yeah. All my friends, and all the girls would sit around talking to me and going, how come you're not getting stoned? And I would talk about my philosophy of life and Christianity and what I believed and what I thought about life, and they'd be like, this guy don't need to be stoned. He's like, he's like, listen to that. And they're because, so high too. They're probably because like, they were the high. Coolest thing I've ever heard. Well, when life. you when you start getting high very young, there's no substitute for it because yeah. that becomes the way you 
you know, that's the way I cope. Yeah, that's why you look at the world. When I go yeah. out to have fun, I get high. When I'm depressed, I get high. Mm. When I need something, I get high. When I'm hanging around listening to music, I get high. It becomes a way. My, for me, it wasn't like that. My and you, and you never was, smoked, right, Dad? What? You never smoked weed, I never right? smoked cigarettes. I never smoked weed. I never did anything. So I had a completely different chemical reaction to those things. I didn't need them. I was lucky. I remember my brother was getting high. I felt bad for him. He's like, this guy's doing heroin. He's doing all kinds of stuff. You know, this, guy, this guy's doing coke. This yeah. his brother's doing this. And I'm like, what the hell are they doing? I never needed it. So what happened with me is I came to understand my environment so much differently. I played basketball. I, I uh, rode bikes. Yeah. I, I, worked in, I worked helping people in the street, you know, people going through problems. I got high from that. Yeah, you got high. I was in life. music. No I joke. Music. I'm not, I'm not I was kidding. in a band. You know, I did. So I just was different. I was lucky that I didn't have to go through that. But later on in life, I understand. I understood why young people get into get drugs high. and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty simple to understand. When I met your mom, you know, she came from a different background. So she told me, "Oh, you know, we smoke pot." We, I was like, "What was that like?" She goes, "What do you mean? What was that like?" She goes, "That was like getting through the day." Have you ever tr wanted to try cocaine? Or are you afraid of it? I wanted. To, I always thought I'd like to try it to see how I react to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, I, that's it, exactly how I felt that when good? I first did is, it. Is yeah. it. Like, what is it? But I was afraid if I did it, I would be the one who the guy never did coke and he died. Yeah, yeah. That's how like I Lenny felt. Bias. I yeah. Lenny Bias. Lenny Bias. Lenny Bias. Celtics draft pick. Yeah, I, I, I did once found. I found a joint where I was working one day. Yeah. I said, "This is a joint, man. You know what? Let me try this." I lit the joint. John Blaine. I took. A, I took a drag on the joint. Took another drag on the joint. Got lifted. I had no effect at all. To yeah, you didn't get high. Oh, that's the thing too. Some enough. people smoke for the first time and nothing happens. Yeah. Zero. There was yeah. zero. A lot of it's, people don't get high. I don't know. I wonder why I, that's I, a I thing. ever tried a cigarette. I tried. Oh, this is what happened. I remember I was dating your mom. Yeah. And she smoked at the time. So I was like, "How can I get her to stop smoking?" Not that I, I thought she was sexy and everything was, you know, watching smoking. So I said, "I felt bad." I said, "This poor girl's smoking. You know, she's gonna get." So she goes, "Well, you know, it's because it just helps me relax or whatever." So one day I bought a pack of cigarettes. And I chain smoked the cigarettes in front of her in a laundromat while I was doing my laundry. And she goes, why are you doing that? I said, I'm gonna, I want to be smoker too. Yeah, we'll smoke she together. Goes, no, why would you want to do that? I said, why do you want to smoke? And I smoked them all. I got sick as a dog. Because I smoked Ugh. one cigarette. Next cigarette. That was the last time I ever uh, smoked. Now I know where I get it from. Yeah, dad goes so hard. I was such a bad <laughs> jerk off. Uh, I really was such a jerk. I said, this is the way to embarrass this poor girl. Why am I doing that? <laughs> and it didn't stop her either. She, she's like, tough. this guy's wacky. Uh uh, I have a couple more questions for you. Uh, what was your favorite game to play on the toilet? What? What was your favorite game to play on the toilet? Video game. You mean video, with video, myself? Video or game. Yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, oh. oh <laughs> Our house wasn't like that. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Do you remember what we used to play on the toilet, Dan? You or me? Yes. Both. Both of us. Game Tetris? Boy. Yes, Tetris. Oh, yeah. That was a big Tetris guy. The problem with playing yeah, Tetris would take 45 on the toilet minute is jumps. you never get off the toilet. Yeah, yeah. you never get off the toilet. Yeah. I would just hear... Doom, doom, Sounds doom, doom. like every other so, guy. So mommy, mommy would knock on the door and go, what are you doing in there? What are you yeah. doing? You're like, Sounds like my mother when she used to knock on the door. You know what, what mom, mom's also the queen of? Getting the having, high score. Having the pee when you're in the shower. She'd be like, oh, Dunia, I have to pee pee. I'm just like, all right, wait. She's like, no, I'm coming to pee. She loves coming in there and peeing. While so I'm in true. There. I'm like, so, well, so, get out of here. So true. She's like, oh, she's like, oh, 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 I have to pee. Dad I'm like, wait never two once, seconds. Dad That's never terrible. once was That's like, terrible. I have to come pee. My I'll father's never come open. anywhere near the bathroom while I'm in there. Maybe to tell me to shut up because like I'm singing too much. No, I, think dad, I think I a couple of times I went and you were in, taking a shower in the shower. Oh, no. I, no, maybe I didn't. Remember that time I threw up in the sink? I remember once I, I was throwing up in the toilet and dad and dad was just Dad's like. Dad's very cool when we would go come home and be sick that? from partying. What did you eat? What is that? Fish? No, dad <laughs> Dad never got mad at us about that uh, stuff. Because I think you were just happy you're home. Remember the well, time you came home though? I came home and I was climbing up the fire escape. Yeah. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? Not really. Were you drunk? Yeah. I remember you told you guys me. Always used to oh, do someone it. told you the story. I was like, yeah, hey, you remember it right now? Me. No, you, I remember dad one time came into the kitchen. Um. Uh, and I was climbing up the fire escape. But another time, he was like, hey, Danny, like, what's up? Like, you went out last night. Like, you stink. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. He's like, all right. He's like, will you do me a favor? Like, can you, like, get off the kitchen table? I didn't even realize I fell asleep on the kitchen table. Oh, yeah. I, I remember, remember that. that. Yeah. that's. So I never get angry at any of that stuff. My only, You only my got problem, mad when I was climbing up the thing because you I, do, you could get killed. You know what? I, I inevitably, and I still do this. I don't care who it is. It could be your mother, my father, you guys. I never 
I can't take when someone like disrespects me like right in my face Oof. and and then says and then says to me well what's the problem uh, 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 Oh, especially when, especially when, swinging. especially when there's witnesses, swinging. I'd start. Swinging. That would get a. a that's when everybody. Dad would stand up in the chair, and you'd run out of the room, and be like, "I'm sorry." Well, you know, here was what. Here was, here was <laughs> guys, sorry, go, guys, go to sleep, and they, okay, Dad, we'll go to sleep. Like four times, yeah. and I come in the fifth time, it's still, and up. Then you'd laugh at me. And I like, I can't take a six year old laughing at me for that. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to beat some of this, some part of their ass. I have to beat <laughs> to go to sleep. <laughs> and then, yeah, all right, Dad. And then not to I be, understand that though. Like, not yeah, to feel dude, bad. I, don't I punch felt my bad. No, because I would feel people. bad, but I would always get so angry that it was like, why am I getting this angry? So I'm just, like stupid. But it was that. It was that dis- like level of. Disrespect. I have to say, from all the times we got hit as kids, like. In my mind, I mean, maybe there's someone out there telling me that they know how my psyche works, but like it, uh, none of that like played a toll where I was like, I hate my parents. I'm gonna grow up to be crazy. I nah. think all those. Also, I think all those, they never hit us that hard. Oh, you know why? Yeah, that's the thing. It was no, like, I think it was like very are, limited I strikes. Yeah, I think they're hilarious. You know what I noticed though about when I was a kid, I knew when I was wrong, so I would push my father, push, and then when he smacked me or hit me with the belt or whatever, I like I deserve that. Yeah. I never, so I never took for no it, I never held it against him. What I held against my father is when he didn't care about me, yeah. or when he would just, just like yeah, not we love were me we were little shits that bothered yeah. me. You guys weren't like that though. Yeah. You were always loving. I always knew you guys were right. like love me, but I didn't like when you pushed me like to like this guy's like, We can get away with this. Yeah, guy. yeah, because there were uh, times there were times where we were yeah. like that, where it was like we were almost trying to like make a fool of someone oh, or oh, you or guys just getting like, away with something. You guys would laugh. I mean, you used to laugh at me and then look at each other and go, ah, this is this guy. Yeah, like this guy's a bitch. And then, <laughs> yeah, no, we did do that. And then once. we turn remember, around and dad's chasing us down the yeah, hallway. We're, remember, like, we're sorry. Because remember, dad took us for a drive one time. And uh, I was just like, oh, uh, like, whatever. And then he was like, I remember he just had enough. Like, we were just like telling him stuff. And I didn't really understand what I said. I was like, maybe like 14. He was like, do you guys like have any respect for me at all? And I was just like, no. No. And, no, then, and, then, and then he's like, okay. And you're out. He floored it. And he's going to drive us into a tree. No. <laughs> I don't even... And then you were like, which way do you want to go? And I was like, I don't know, that way. And he was like, all right. And this, we were coming back from New Jersey vacation. And you guys were yeah. doing what you do, you know? Fighting yeah. in the car. And I said, guys, come on, man. Your mother's trying to We sleep. were the worst. And, and we go into a rest stop area. And then you were like, I don't want fries. I don't want to. And I said, you got to do it. And you said, one of you said, do you know anything about anything? Do you know what you're doing at all? Oh, God. Maybe you were yeah. like seven or nine. Yeah. Sounds like, sounds like I said, yeah, I know. I tell you what I know. Get out of the car. And you guys got out of the car, and I left you at the rest stop. <laughs> I just left you there. God. I Dad, took it, off and said to Mommy, I'm going to go around. See, I came back, and they were, they were laughing. And I think we traumatized Dad shit. a little bit because there was <laughs> one time me and Dad were eating a chicken. We were eating chicken that Dad made, and it was really good. But I, there was there was one that dad like dad ate like the bone. It was like something that he ate, and I go, "Ill, you ate it." And I was really young, and I and I had food in my mouth, and dad slaps me in the back of the head for no reason. And I'm like, "Dude, what the hell's wrong with you?" And he goes, "Don't ever call me an idiot again." And I said, "No, yeah, you ate word. it." Yeah, and you yeah, go, and you go, mad. and dad that's just goes, word. "Oh, I'm so sorry." <laughs> I apologize. Sorry about but that. But I re- but I remember. But now I'm thinking about it now, and I'm like, Dad was probably just so traumatized from all the times that we were trying to like. God, we were so we were like bad. little condescending douchebags. Here and hey, there. We're kids. Look, when I when me and my brothers were kids, we did that in the room so my father couldn't hear us. Right. Like, like oh, did you see what he did today? Grandpa used to scratch his self in scratch front of people penis. and then he would you know how people how people blow their nose without blow, without a handkerchief? You yeah. know, like that? Snot rocket. For some reason, it used to crack us up. But he would do it in front like in front of people. He had a big old schnoz. Yeah. Be, like, why does he do that, man? People it's embarrassing, man. And we would talk about it. <laughs> he never knew that we thought that. And then one day, one of his men did it, right? And so I think it was Uncle Frank or someone said, Lost that's it. disgusting. Why would anybody do that? And Grandpa turned around and go, like, all the times I've done that, that's what you think. <laughs> you think, you little bastard. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. That was disgusting. We're like, who does that? Nobody does that. So look, <laughs> listen I, feel, to what, I, feel, I feel like Grandpa was always, like, in sepia tone. So listen to what Dad told me last <laughs> right. night. Right, Grandpa yeah. was always, we sepia, had, a sep- yeah. had a sepia yeah. filter on. Yes, listen to did. what Dad told me last night. One of, the, one of the random dudes that was the neighbors of Son of Sam, who they think was killing people with him, yeah. the dad uh, worked with Grandpa once in a while. No, he knew they were they, Sam they, Carr. They did. They were both landlords. Oh yeah, that that guy's dead. Yeah, they it's, were both it's landlords. Who the son of Sam is named after. Yeah, 
So Sam Carr was the father. Was a very kind of like hard ass abusive kind yeah. of guy. Maniac. Yeah. Right? He lived in a building on Warburton, right? You know Warburton Avenue? Yeah. Robert and uh, I lived there. When you go down where, where I used to live? No, when you go down Glenwood Avenue. Yeah, by where I used to Bef- live. By the yeah, museum yeah. school. Further down. Oh, further, further down. down. Got it, got it, yeah. Ashburn, I mean uh, uh Glenwood. Glenwood. Down no, to like you know, pot, pot City over there. Where yeah. you, where, you, where you, everybody buys drugs. Yeah. Not me. Oh, did I say that? The police are gonna be yeah. there tomorrow. They know. <laughs> So right across the street is an old laundromat. Snidge. Up Glenwood Avenue. <laughs> you go up Glenwood Avenue, and there was Sam Carr's building, one of his buildings. On Pine Grandpa, Street. Oh, yeah. Grandpa, the we had a building down the street on Glenwood, right across the, on a diagonal. Yep. Yeah. So he, they, he knew him. He, he uh, did jobs for them. He did painting jobs, and they'd gripe over the money. And my Grandpa would be like, ah, it's going to cost more. When that whole thing happened, I was dating a girl a block away. From his apartment. But he never, he never did anything in Yonkers, right? No. No, he would come home from whatever he did, probably drive by us sitting in the car. I mean, after my after he just killed somebody. See, so my crazy. girlfriend was sitting in the car, and we, and she would say, okay, um, uh, I'm going to go up. I, she goes, let me stay in her roommate. She goes, like, we can't go upstairs, so let's stay downstairs. We you know, kiss a little bit, whatever we're doing, talking. Yeah. But we talked there for an hour, and never did we think this guy's driving home from shooting somebody. Yeah. When they busted him that night, I was coming home from the Bronx. I go up. I hear it on the radio. I go up. North Broadway, where he where he lived near Punch, and I stop, and there's cops there, and one of them, a friend of mine, I stop. He goes, "Danny, you can't come through here." I said, "Why?" He goes, "They busted um, son, son of Sam. Sam." I said, "Yonkers?" Yeah, no goes, one, th- on no Pine. one thought he would be That's from crazy. Uh, yeah, on like, Pine it, Street, people right. in the city. This is upstate. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah did and you, on Pine did you watch the documentary on Netflix? I just watched it all. I watched it all today. I watched, I watched it all in one day. The they whole were, thing. Hearing them say, "Yonkers," I knew the someone? reporters. I knew the reporters. I know Amicone, who was the mayor. Who was the guy that Telemico. was cursing at the press? He was like a cop. He was like, yeah, it's the cops. The cops. Those were all, those were like were all the New York City like, cops. Yeah, I fucking know what I'm doing. He's a PR guy for the cops, but the police in New York City never wanted to. They they just wanted to get the guy. Right. They didn't care, and I don't blame him. Once they got him and they saw he had the gun, why go look any further? Other this people were other people were doing that. The problem is once they got him and they and they kind of knew it might be maybe to somebody else. They said we can't do that. No, no those people, people gonna gonna, gonna scare the. Sh- they're going to be hiding again. We but can't mom used to like hold her hair up when she would run across the street. Well, they, that yeah, time. she was in the Bronx. She lived in the Bronx. So we go back and forth to the Bronx. It was a weird time. Once they got him, though, my girlfriend was like, what the hell were you thinking sitting in the car? I said, how That's do I know? Crazy. He's right there. He could have gone by the car and go, ah, leave these two alone. What did he die of, Berkowitz? He just died in prison? He die? No, he's still alive. I David think. Berkowitz is still alive. Yeah, yeah preaching Charles to people. Manson died. Yeah, he's preaching. Charles to, Manson died. He's preaching to people. Yeah, right? he's a Christian now. He's a Christian. He's a minister. And and they do so that guy Maury Terry did those interviews with him, and he's like, I can't keep talking about this. Yeah. Like, yeah, always. Uh, it's it's just too hard to think about and stuff like that. But apparently, he's. I think he only admitted to two killings. He's, but he but says, a lot of people think that he was being like uh he was like coerced yeah. kind of. You I know? think he, I think at. Part of that was he felt so guilty and so bad about it that he was trying to, he's trying to t- deflect some of it to other people. Right. But I really believe those people were involved with him. Whether uh, or not he did to get wet with him or not, I don't know. Maybe he went out trying to prove himself to them. Oh, did he die? Po- no, he didn't die. There's what no does one. Wiki say? No, 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 he's alive. He was no, yeah, born, yeah, yeah, born the same year as that. He's like same my age. age. He's my yep, age. Yep. Yep. And when you hear him talk... You can see, because I've been involved with a lot of Christian. Yeah, he's, I, a, I he's, go a, to he's a polite, well-spoken dude. I used to go to prisons and minister to people in prison. And he sounds just like a guy who was brought up, you know, bad, had a bad life. Kill. I've, I've preached to murderers, talked to murderers. Yeah. And once they get into prison, they got nowhere to go. So they find God, and you, they sound just like babies, like lambs, you know, and everything is so, oh, Jesus saved me, and which is good. You know, it's a good thing. In his case, it's very complicated. You know, he looks yeah, like when he got, a complicated guy. You know, he looks like when he got older. He looks like Richard Dreyfus. He looks exactly like him. I'm obviously the same thing today. Yeah, I said they should put him in a part. The thing that's crazy though, too, is like uh, he was like very like, I mean, it's sadistic shit that he was writing, but it was like very well written. But the, he's like, I'm the Beelzebub. You know, I they never the analyzed. I, they, never, the chubby they never analyzed that writing. They think it was the other guy that was doing the right because because oh, they, were they saying, thought Sam Carr did it. The yeah, son. no, 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 no. Oh, Sam Carr, the son, John Carr, uh, the son of Sam. Yeah, see, they were both involved. In they asked the sister. You saw it's the John and Michael they, Carr. They said to the sister after the brothers died, "Well, would you talk about it?" And she goes, "If I was to say to you that they weren't involved in Satan worship, you would never. I would be lying." Yeah, the she goes, "I know my like, brothers. My brothers were messed up, and they were doing all of this stuff. So he probably hung out with them. 
And who knows whether he did this to prove himself to them. He probably talked him into doing it. Or they said to him, oh, this would be great. You go out there and shoot people. Or you'd be Satan with love. Yeah, or it know. didn't turn out to be that way at first. And then I think they all just got into some shit. And then they were like, oh, man. Because then they start getting into that, yeah. well, look that at extreme all Scientologist funny. group. And you're just like, wow, this, is, this goes deep. Me, this if, gets- I, if I was to give any warning to anyone, all right, you can get involved in religion. But listen, Satanism, not good. No. He said he wants to be referred to as the son of hope. Yeah, this guy's a maniac. Yeah. No, he's the son of hope. He, he believes. He <laughs> believes. Maniac, he, bro. he has helped so many people in prison. Now, whether he's real or not really, but the point is he's helped a lot of people. You know, this dude was, was doomed from the moment he came out of the womb. Well, I think. the poor guy, man. We finally found his mother. We found, found out his mother had had sex oh, yeah, with another ado- married guy. He was guy. adopted. Yeah, that's right. His mother was married, had sex with some guy. For, uh, you know, a guy that was married, yeah. they had, got pregnant, and she, instead of aborting the baby, she had it. Didn't want to tell her husband and gave it up. How the hell are you pregnant and and you don't tell your husband? No, she didn't want to tell her husband it wasn't his. Oh, so at the time she said, you know, oh, you know, um, let's give it up because we don't have any money. We're broke, and she was supposedly having problems, drugs and stuff. So Is when he, he finally he found out about that years later, why don't you tell the kid? They should have told him. You know, they, didn't, they raised him, and then he found out about this later on, and it messed him up. And I think he was, in the, and I think he was in the Korean War for like a, yeah, a, Italian, or I think he served for the like to. He go was to in the Korea. Korean War. Yeah, he was in Korea. But just just like to wrap up the whole so that that documentary, I know a lot of the people involved in the work for the newspaper I did right before I did. Right, and that guy did a lot of work, a real journalism. But because he started uncovering all these things, people like I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that there's Satanists over there in Yonkers and they're going to kill me. I don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. Yeah, but did you, they did went you to like Untermeyer Park and they found like dead German shepherds and shit. Yeah, yeah. we knew it, but we knew it. We you knew it as I, kids? I used to go to Untermeyer Park. Everybody would get high, you know, yeah. get, hang up frisbees, you know, listen to music, all the hippies. We all knew there was Satan worship going on down there. We used to laugh at it. We're like, these freaky people. What are they doing down there? But at the time, you'd think it was goofy. But these people That's get into terrifying. this stuff, man. It is terrifying. I look at Manson and all of those guys. They all had that basic Satan, you know, his power. What a coward. They're all cowards. Manson's the worst of them all. He's pretty much, a, you know, directing other people to do, you know. You D- didn't one of those girls get out of jail? No. Uh, but then it was so bad, yeah. they, bu- they put her back in, I think. A right? couple of them got, not the murderers. The, those girls never were paroled. One of them died in prison. A Christian. She became a Christian. Linda Kasabian, she became a Christian. And the other ones, one, one of them's still there. Krenwinkel, the guy, Tex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was in the, the Hollywood. Uh, the Hollywood. Once Upon a Time, time in Hollywood. Hollywood. He's still in jail. I like that movie. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a great fantasy. I mean, it's a horrible What would have happened if yeah. they had come on the wrong house? Yeah. Which, which you think about sometimes. What would have happened if Hitler you know, didn't get to do what he did? Didn't they make a movie like that? Which? Like they made a movie where like Hitler just becomes an artist? I think they did something. They did like something that, yeah. like that. Well, Inglorious yeah. Bastards is is uh, is like a take yeah, on they, they, they not actually, a Tarantino. They, yeah, they like what would happen if they yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would have happened if all these Jewish guys were out killing all these <laughs> Nazis? <laughs> what a great idea! I, I like that movie too. It's a great idea. He's a he's a wild dude. Tarantino yeah, is a wacky dude. Creative guy. Creative guy. But uh, Dad, how uh, you feeling there, Mikey? We're gonna wrap it up. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I was we, gonna eat a gummy. No no no. Don't eat anything on the show. Okay. Well, when life hands you lemons, you just put your dad on the show, <laughs> just so you guys know. That's how that works. Oh, but uh, shout out to all of our patrons. Uh, let's talk to our Lop Nation CEOs and CFOs. Uh, Arrow is my middle name. Allison Meta, Annie Alamad, Anthony, Anthony Mavado, Bethany Sykes, Brittany, Sianna Young, Claudia, Debbie Rubel, Debbie Rubble, sorry, Estella Escobar, Jacqueline Himberger, Jessica Koontz. Joseph Arsenal, Josh Diaz, uh, Julie Leone, Lauren Hunt, Marvel Malong, my name's actually Jeff, Nicole Derelu, Nicholas Nielsen, nudes to my dad, my dad's right here, Yo. Ryan Blake, Sean Silcox, Spencer Perdue, Tariq Judah, the Cucumbersome, I see what you did there, the Real Pachu, Puerto Rican Pikachu, uh, Thichelle Bell, I don't know what that means. Tim Turbo Chubbs, Aaron, Adam Wright, Ashley Sparacino, Auto Fire, Brianna Palumbo, Carmen Julia Fisher, Chelsea Reynolds, Cypher Rage, Colin, the Lost Lopriori Anderson. I don't think that's how that works. Corbin, 
Dean Rowdy, Diasha Napier, Derek Frazel, Donald Brown, Haley Gimane, Harry Hardpants from Australia. Wow. Hayden Hoskins. Hernan. I love Pedro. Uh, let's see who else we got. Jade Hubble, like the Hubble telescope. Jay, uh, Jess. Jody Ordanza. John Kaminskis. Jordan Montano. Kaylee Novicki. Linda from Accounting. Liz Anamani. Moises Sandoval. Namaste in bed. No Angles. LOL. Olivia Cepeda. Luton John Pico. Riders of Rohan. Rubis Cubis. Sarek Martin. Sheila Viejo. Sydney Merrifield, Trevor Joyner, Vanessa Pineda. And that is it. Thank you guys so much, Dad. Thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. Um, you're welcome anytime. Uh, you know, it's nice to come off the bunch, uh, the bench every once in a while and step in. Yeah, yeah. Keep me on the uh, watch. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep Michael you. Michael watch. Yeah, we're going to put you on a 10-day contract, and hopefully uh, Michael gets better. I told him not to eat this thing, but he ate it. All right? I love you guys. Peace. Bye, guys.